hi. Alternate Keck? Yes, that's me. Good. Sorry, I had to turn off the voice chat. I had to turn off the YouTube chat as you were echoing. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a good idea. Wouldn't want to hear yourself recursive over and over and over. All right, what's up, comrade? What's on your mind? Hit me up. Um, well, didn't really have a debate topic, but uh, why do you think Nick is gay? Oh, I don't actually think Nick is gay. I think that Nick definitely has oh. something going on with that um that that cat boy person. I don't know if Nick's gay. Nick could be bi or pansexual or maybe just bi curious. You know, maybe Nick is mostly straight, but they kind of wanted to, you know, like rub dicks a little bit, see how it goes. Um, yeah, something like that. Why, but I don't know do necessarily that, he's gay. Why would you think that though? Um, that that he might be interested in men. Yeah, because I just don't understand why people think that. Like I I've seen the i i i i like went through your video of going through his discord and stuff mm -hmm. and the stream with lolly socks and i just to me it didn't seem gay i mean because i i've hung out with real legitimate gay people and i'm friends with little, real legitimate gay people and nick doesn't really strike me as one even with all that yeah, well, whether or not a person strikes me as one isn't so much the idea. The idea really is the dissonance between Nick's um, uh, political beliefs and what he presented there in that stream. Because what he did there, uh, between all of the jokes he makes about cat boys, you know, and the 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 big long... I mean, that was a 10-hour hangout. I don't normally hang out with people for 10 hours, even when I'm fucking them. I mean, that was a pretty good long time. And it's not just any old person. It's a sex worker who is a cat boy who wore the cat boy ears for the time they spent together and they've taken pictures with big, big horse cocks just right up against their face, you know? Now, does any of this mean, like, objectively, factually, that Nick is gay? No, of course not. You know, all of these things could be, uh, uh, you know, a component to one's heterosexual identity. What it does mean, so, though... So... Hmm? So you're... But I didn't see any horse cocks with Nick. I saw horse cocks with lolly socks. And I do kind of have a defense for that. For kind of sort of you don't need to really, defend you don't need to defend weird. lolly socks love of horsecock my friend we're all horsecock lovers here <laughs> that's funny um but i mean for lolly socks i would say i've watched some of his streams i'm kind of new to watch i i pop in every now and then and and watch them and i all i see him do is hit on women and from my experience there are a lot of women who are into that weird stuff where they want you to do kind of gay stuff. I mean, I've ran into it too. Is where it weird like to do gay stuff? chicks are like, I think, well, I mean, I'm not gay, but I've been in, in an experience where a chick asked me or these two hot chicks I was with, and I was with my friend and they were like, yo if you guys kiss we'll kiss so me and my friend like pretended to kiss to see them make out i mean i wouldn't consider myself bisexual or gay for doing that probably and not, no. from what i see lolly socks he's an attention whore who over exaggerates that stuff and when i see him doing all that like anime horse cock stuff I mainly see him doing it to try to like impress women, which yeah, I, a lot of women do enjoy that stuff. So I can't profess to a significant level of familiarity with Lolly Socks content, but this uh, this all just seems like massive, like incredible levels of coke to me. And the reason for that is now it is true. Now we can never deductively know whether or not a person is gay. We don't know what's going on in someone's heads. We can only make guesses. So. I mean, I'm into men. I do plenty of things to impress women as well. But if I were to make a reasonable assumption about a person's sort of sexual identity when they act the way Lolly Socks does and do the things that Lolly Socks does, I think I can fairly reasonably say there's probably a little bit of gay shit going on there. But the only reason why, and I think this is the most important point here, I harp on this at all, is because... Every, the stuff Nick Fuentes did, and the person with whom Nick Fuentes is associating, uh, would be more than enough for Nick Fuentes to call another person a uh, filthy homosexual degenerate. 
Um, it is not the content itself, more so the fact that it is uh, Nick Fuentes doing it. Because if Nick Fuentes was himself not interested at all in, you know, men or the uh, the, the sweet cat boy, you know, um, boy pussy, um, then he probably would not have uh, gone out of his way to spend 10 hours with somebody so aggressively in line with what he ironically claims uh, to be something he is interested in, and then go forth and be so defensive about it when called out in it by people who he should have seen coming um, criticizing him uh, for for his predilections. In sense, I'm calling mm-hmm. him a hypocrite for his degeneracy. I don't know whether or not he's okay. actually gay. I mean, that's oh, I that's mean up that, in his head. that could be fair. But you've not ne- like you've never hung out with anyone for ten hours who like I've never you've never, never hung had... out with someone for ten hours who you're not. Who you're not romantically related. I I've mean, never I had a sex worker fly hung out over. with someone. Uh-huh. I've, I've never had a sex worker fly over to me. A sex worker who was like known for some incredibly like lascivious stuff that fits in line with the sexual interest that I have, I quote unquote, ironically expressed before the catboy stuff, which Nick Fuentes has been doing kind of quote unquote ironic, you know, references to for literal years now, um, and hung out with them for ten hours. Uh, and apparently at one point stayed together at, 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 a, at a domicile for some unknown length of time with the cameras off, mind you, and and not fucked them. Uh, yes, in any instance, if I was doing that with somebody, I would be fucking them. Uh, woman, man, trans, cis, all of I'm that. I'm new to know? this whole he is a sex worker thing. Like, Can you just give me like one example of what makes him a sex worker? Yeah, I mean, I've seen quick. his streams and his pictures. Hold on. Oh, wait. I saw Where the fuck is the old Iron Key? I'm sorry. I'm playing Dark Souls. Um, the, That's all that I'm watching that. Yeah, the, it's quality content. The, um, um, yeah, so, I mean, his streams and the Instagram posts that he make uh, seem to be, like, uh, marketed heavily off of his sexual appeal. I don't mean sex worker in, like, he's a prostitute. Uh, sex worker in the sense that his sexuality and his sexual presentation are part of what he is selling to people through his streams through his through his pictures, which is why he is so Man. often dressed the way he does, acts the way he does. It's to elicit arousal, ironically I, or otherwise. I know a lot of Instagram women who would find problems with you saying that that's sex work. Although oh, oh, I'm yeah, not that's fine. I, I disagree with that. I tell it to their face. Yeah, if there are some Instagram thoughts who are out there like flinging their tits around on on camera and like I'm not a sex worker, I'm an influencer modeler. Now nah, you're a sex worker, honey. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. That yeah. that's fair. You know that I 100% agree with that. That's pretty fair. But at the same time, I mean, I still don't see how that can lead to the inference that they did something or that it's wrong that he hung out with them and makes them by possibly bisexual, bi curious. Oh, I don't think it's. I mean, I don't I think I've hung out with dudes. I've hung out. My best friend is a dude who's openly bisexual and has sucked cock. Yeah, and but but again, I've we hung are, out with him all day, and he's never sucked my cock. Or we I've are missing on a little bit of context here. I mean, again, it's it, it all lines up really, really perfectly. Years of making quote unquote ironic jokes about femboys. How much do you know about me? I mean, do you think my jokes about horse cock are ironic? You know, um, you can like do the finger quotes irony shit all you want, but like he did the catboy stuff quite a bit, and then. There's a sex worker, I feel fair in that characterization, who is flown out. I don't know who paid for the ticket, that's not really relevant to me. Um, but flown out from Australia, like this is quite a distance, to hang out with Nick Fuentes in a non-professional context. They didn't do a podcast or a show together. And the person that's flown out is a sex worker who does catboy shit. And he wears the catboy ears while they're hanging out together. And they spend a fuck ton of time hanging out together. And during that time spent hanging out together, they're giving each other, now this is just my personal opinion as a faggot myself, some pretty, you know, doughy-eyed looks, in my opinion. That's subjective, you know. And uh, and all of this is coming from Nick the Knife Fuentes, who normally calls people who do a fifth of this shit degenerate homosexuals who are going to hell. So, again, that's that's really the case against him. I don't have, like, a CSI, like, actually, we broke into his apartment, I found a used condom with shit covered on it, or anything like that. Um, you know, I'm not... Okay, we, wait, I got one thing I have to interject there. Yeah, please. I've been watching... Now, I just started watching Nick the past, like, year and a half. Um, but I've been watching him, like, pretty much daily. Mm-hmm. And all of his ex- a lot of his extra streams and stuff. Um, because he happens to play right after I get off work. Um, 
I have seen him denounce that kind of like wig nattery where people would call someone gay for a fifth of that thing. When you say that he would call that he would call someone gay for doing a fifth of that, I legitimately don't see that. Anytime I see in chat where people are like saying those kind of like weird things like why are you hanging out with why are you doing that interview so, with Milo? Yeah, yeah. So he He's gay. so he denounces it when it refers to him, but then encourages it when it comes to other groups. This is not especially surprising to me. It's not like I haven't seen his streams before. He's very eager to call other people degenerates, faggots, Jews, whatever, yeah, you know, he's throwing he, it out there. I mean, but when has... it but when it comes to people calling him out for associating with these groups, he's got a load of excuses. And I think you're kind no, of no. given the load of excuses here too. Like I think I've laid out a fairly reasonable and compelling case for one no, why wait, one might dude. say he's being a little hypocritical here. If you don't agree with it, that's totally fine. But I think the logic I'm is I am saying that he hasn't done that. He hasn't called people gay and degenerates for doing a fifth of that. Because I've le legitimately seen him go and talk to Jews and homosexuals when some of his more radical far-right fans have told him, why are you doing this? Are you gay? And he's like, no. Yeah, that, yeah that's him playing defense for himself. But he does it when with regards to other people. With other people, like, I've seen like him be when? very eager... To call people out on whatever negative characteristic he seems keen to associate, like on Twitter, like shit posting on Twitter, or well, so it's shit, it, so it's shit posting when he does it. Okay, see, this is what I mean. Oh, wait, I mean, really I quick, don't know. Wait, really quickly, we can be specific. I'm not on Twitter, but but no, but do notice, like you're very keen to assign irony and credulity to anything he might say that makes him look hypocritical. But when but when it's it's not about him, you're very 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 like face value, and and uncharitable. This is like, again, I don't have like a CSI case on this or anything. I've seen his content plenty. You know, it's like, I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a huge stretch of the imagination. Like he is a homophobe. I don't think he likes gay folks that much. And he's made plenty of derogatory comments about gay folks. You know, I don't think. I that's... don't think necessarily making derogatory remarks against homosexuals or being homophobic in whatever fr a phrase you're using homo or definition you're using homophobia in. That doesn't mean that, that I don't think that means what you're trying to say. Um, uh, because do you think he's not I have, fine with gay I people? have done, I, I'm by your standards, I'm probably homophobic. Um, yeah, pro I mean, you're a Nick Fuentes fan. You're probably a Nazi. <laughs> I'm probably, yeah, I'm probably a little. Um, but I am not like hateful of gay people. I live, I live in Illinois. Are you okay I, with um, I can't two... go five. I can't walk five feet without talking to a, a homosexual. Person. Are you are you um are you okay with two gay men adopting children? Because there's well, one answer to it... that that's not hateful, and there's an answer to that that is. <laughs> I don't think it's hateful to say no. Okay, I know probably not. <laughs> I don't. I don't think. I like some gay people. Yes, I think I mean, with, some gay people. I think if, if they have checkups and stuff, and Wait, there's some kind of like, I'm making sure that they aren't like fiddling the kid or anything. Why would they be fiddling the kid? <laughs> I don't know. I've seen some stories where homosexuals I've seen stories of straight kids parents. And do that. I've seen stories of straight parents fiddling their kids quite a bit that's, more than gay true. parents too, since straight parents are more common. Should we have state That's checkups true. to make sure nobody's fucking their kids? You know what? For adoption, yes. I think everyone needs to have checkups. For adoption, why? Is there evidence to suggest that for adoption, it's more likely a child will be abused than for a, a birth parent? Um, I just think for the safety of the kid in general, because it's it's not their actual parents and everything. So I that? would actual parents say can that still abuse their kids though. Yes, no, that's that's true. But for adoption, because there's already that level of okay, we're giving the kid away to a couple. You might as well do um, regular checkups for well, a couple of years, and I and I believe that happens. Birth parents? No. No, not well, no. 
not unless uh, not unless there's a not unless there's some kind of like CPS reason. They or, already do do checkups um, for adopted children, though, don't they? Isn't there usually an agency or institution that occasionally the adoptees like check up or the adopters check up with? Yeah, I I just said that. Where I'm pretty sure they do do that. So, so we're, like, we're I'm okay. I'm kind of okay. Kids. I mean, it makes me uncomfortable. Why? But why does it make me uncomfortable? I don't know, probably because of stories I read online. Do you, th do you think it might be a little worrying that stories you uh, read online are making you uncomfortable with the idea of gay parentage? Like that might not be a good, uh, like, like, like a good way to have your like political opinions disseminated to you. I worry a little bit about the Fuentes fans, you know. <laughs> you, you make, you do make a fair point. You do make a fair point there. But I do believe, I also kind of believe in like the traditional family where I want to be the man and the woman. And I kind of feel like in a principle it sh that should be upheld. Now, because it makes me uncomfortable, does that mean that every gay couple should be denied it? No, I'm sure there are some gay couples that are okay with adopting. And I know one, I know a gay couple who have adopted and they're, and they're great people. And they're and they're one who I would say, yeah, they should adopt kids, and they've done a great job so far. But yeah, I just it, it I does think... make me uncomfortable. It does make me uncomfortable. Yeah, I just I don't think the state should like across the board prevent gay folk from adopting for like any reason. It seems like it actually. I mean, it, it also seems like a pretty good um a pretty good way of addressing an existing social problem, right? I mean, gay or not, a lot of folks want to have kids. You're gonna to have to adopt unless you want to. I mean, you can do you can do surrogate parentage if you want, like two gay guys, and then one of them fucks another girl, and they take the kid afterwards. Um, I guess that's an option. Then technically, it's a birth kit for at least one of the two dads. Um, I don't know. It seems like a decent enough idea. A lot of adopted uh, kids or unadopted orphans out there probably got to do something about that. Um, when it comes to, like the traditional family, um, do you do you mean like we should support it in that uh, you yourself want it, or like we should find ways to socially encourage it? Um, I personally want a traditional family myself, and yes, I believe families should be socially um, and economically promoted through the state. What do you mean by uh, what do you mean by family? Father, mother, child, children. So you think the state should, like, uh, incentivize economically and socially the formation of a traditional family over a non-traditional one? Yes. And um, if any... And on the flip side, I would give you this. Um, I'm okay with gay couples adopting as long as they're people of good character they are proven to be people and i i believe that for all people who adopt i believe all people who adopt should be of good character so if, if a, a gay couple is of good character then they definitely should adopt kids because i've seen it work but yeah, i mean i wouldn't should, I, promote I, it i wouldn't promote it but i wouldn't deny it what uh what do you mean wouldn't promote it this is i i, I should point out this is like a like a kind of weird half line i see brought up a lot with the, uh, call them tradcon types, I suppose. Um, this, like, um, I promote this, I, you know, I, I don't like this, but, um, but I don't know I what do they mean by I do not consider myself tradcon. I do not consider myself tradcon. Oh, like, what, um, what, what, what identification do you prefer? Uh, I don't really like identifying myself because I always find myself arguing with everyone on every perspective, and I don't even agree with everything Nick says. Like, I'm not... Catholic. Um, I'm not an atheist, but I'm not Catholic or Christian. Uh, I just consider myself like a spiritualist. Like <laughs> some some people would call me a, a heathenistic pagan, but I don't worship like a god. Are you a? Uh, uh, if it's not too personal, are you a J Cure? J Cure. Are you? Uh, oh, are you, uh, oh, J Q. Are the, are the long noses coming to take away everything good that the white tribe has built? I got gotcha. you. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a big fan of them, but half. But my mom's side is a J. 
<laughs> my mom size a J. Oh, you're not a big fan of them. <laughs> I'm not, like here. The thing is, I I don't like doing wars for Israel for foreign nations. Wait, what does that have to do with Jews? Because it's a it's practically a, a Jewish religious state. But most of the Zionists in America are fundamentalist Christians. Yes, and I don't I don't like really zionist christians either well then it's the zionism you have an issue with not the judaism not i, like I do have yeah i do have a problem with yeah i would say i have a bigger problem with zionism than the average jew who is just like going about their life like a, a normal average christian yeah, that, so that's probably as far as my jq goes I mean, that's not even the Jewish I mean, question. That's the Israel question. I, I I, talk about the Israel question on my stream all the time. Hey, chat, if you want to let me know how the fuck to get in the lizard room, please feel free. I have big, big open ears on my end, you know? Um, but yeah, like, I ask the Israel question all the time, you know? Like, APAC and shit? Like, yeah, fuck Israel, you know? I don't know what that has to do with Jews, though. Um, Jews, like, uh -oh. most of the Jews I know don't give a fuck about Israel, personally. They're liberal Jews, mind you, in Beverly Hills, and... The Israel stuff tends to be more of a like a neocon thing, um, but again, that's I mean that's mostly supported by fundamentalist Christians, so it doesn't seem like a Jew thing at all. But I do see a lot of times where on Twitter you'll find people who are Jews who will say that will say a whole bunch of terrible things about white people, and then they'll be like, "Oh yeah, I'm Jewish," or I've never seen something this. like that. Yeah, I. I've seen it. Do you think um, this might be one of the cases where the communities you hang out in incline you towards disproportionately consuming certain types of media that may bias your political opinions? Because I have seen, because I just want to say, i just pointing out, I've seen a lot of people out there, a lot of them call uh -huh. me Jewish, for example. So, like, we're kind of diluting the pot a little bit when it comes to who and who is not Jewish. But um, when it comes to, like, people who actually are Jewish, sometimes I'll see, like, Nazi types say, ah, this person wants to kill all white people. And in reality, they're just expressing, like, a milk toast, left-leaning, progressive opinion. Like, uh, like reparations for black people, or, uh, or, um, or, 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 or something like that. Or, or even, like, more radical stuff. A disproportionate stuff. amount of Jews I've seen support that kind of stuff. Like, reparations and progressivism. Wait, what's, what's, for one, there are other ethnic communities that do as well. It's hardly just the Jews. Yes, and I and I would give them the same criticism. Like, my JQ-ness goes as far as I would definitely give the same criticism to any other group who does the same things. Like Christians. Like, there are Christians who I can't stand. So you just believe um, in the everyone every question? Religion. Because there are like progressive members of basically every ethnic and religious community. Yes, the everyone question. I'm not. Uh, I'm not your. I'm not your average person who's right wing. J Cure. <laughs> Wait, but, but, but <laughs> that's not your thing. average but if, J Cure. But if we can agree that the thing you're selecting for then is progressive values and not like Judaism, then why say like I'm not fond of them? Like this is one of the issues that I have because like well, I don't you, think you you brought it you brought it up like do you believe in the JQ and I was like oh, I'm not I'm not too fond of but them. the JQ isn't sometimes Jewish people are progressive and I don't like progressive values it's I believe that Jews are like part of a global conspiracy that is conspiring to harm the white race through like you know race mixing and 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 immigration there are some that do that though there are some of yeah, every that that. ethnic and religious community that believe yes those and things. i and i would definitely not be and i would not support any of those people i mean i'm not jewish and i believe act in, like that i believe in a lot of the things that people say jewish people ought to believe you know it's yeah though it, it can all mix people can have different opinions that come that are all over the place that but then it's not jewish you get what i'm it's saying the issue it's 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 just the progressive values you can maybe argue that like a slightly but disproportionate in the torah they they promote that kind of stuff that and nobody, not, and wait, not wait, 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 wait. Jew, but if it was but if it was the torah then you guys would be going after religious jews but you talk about ethnic and cultural jews most jews have never read the torah most of them just have like one eighth uh uh you know like a uh, jewish or, or what, what do you call it um What's the name? What's the name of the Whoa, Jewish? What are you ethnicity? trying to say about you guys there? What are you trying to say about you guys? 
I'm making a, a broad comparison to your to your sort of political descriptions. Uh, what's what's the What's the ethnic group? Come on, everyone. Ashkenazi, yeah. You got like one-eighth Ashkenazi going on in you. But like, do you, it's not like Jews like read the Torah and they see the passage about like Gentiles. And they're like, ah, yes, my mission. Nobody does that. There are 98% of the verses in the Bible Christians don't give a fuck about. They, the Bible is more of a cultural touchstone than a literal like direct, um, you, you know, like rule book when it comes to, um, to, to how you practice your religion. Um, I just, I don't think Jews are anti-white. Maybe they're like a little bit more liberal on average because they tend to be more educated, which is uh, due to like broader cultural factors that have led to them having a, a disproportionate amount of wealth and uh, social capital over time. But um, I don't think they have like a predisposition towards anti-whiteness or anything like that. Maybe but then what about thing. like a type like Ben Shapiro who says America is like a nation of ideas, but then don't touch Israel and let's make sure that Israel stays a, a Jewish Yeah, he's ethnic a disgusting state. Zionist, but he's hardly like Jewish. It's, he's, it's not as though he's like a good Jew or anything, you know. He's virulently anti-Semitic in a lot of the rhetoric that he But he's not in. an anomaly. He isn't an anomaly. Yeah, yeah, conservative Zionists, whether they're Jewish or not, will be super pro-Israel. But that's not about them being Jewish. Yeah. Um, there are, I mean, look at Trump. Trump's hardly Jewish, and he's been jerking Israel off the whole, fuck, the whole goddamn time of his presidency, you know? I, I almost feel yeah, bad. Yeah, I'm all the, pretty sick of it. Yeah, all the groipers, you know, they were like, ah, base Trump, you know, he's gonna change it. And then he goes down, he throats Israel's dick. And you know why? It's because the, the, the fundamentalist Christians believe that the, the Jews having their ancestral homeland is a component to bring about the rapture. Um... So they're um so so they want to defend Israel because they it's part of their like doomsday fucking religious conspiracy theory. It's crazy, but it's yeah. true. You're 100 percent right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're 100. percent But right. that's not a Jewish thing. That's just a conservative Zionist thing, Christian or Jewish. Yeah, but I would say the exact same things about those Christians. I would have the CQ about that as 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 you but then image board people it's the ZQ. would say. It's the it's the Zionist question. I'm fine. If you guys want to go out and have your Zionist question, please. The only time I ever find myself agreeing with Nazis when Nick Fuentes gets up there and he's like, America needs to stop spending money in Israel. It's the only time, only time I'll agree with you guys. For different reasons, though. For me, it's because I don't like Israel. Because Israel's like a fucking monstrous fascist ethnostate with horrible, horrible political positions that are in the process of genocidally removing the Palestinian people. Um... But but when but when Nick Fuentes, it's because the Jews are scary, I guess. But that's the that's the Zionist question, you know. That's the that's the ZQ. I've, I I haven't really seen Nick say these things that you're saying. Well, what what thing? Where you're talking about like the scary Jews, and you're acting like. Well, no, he doesn't. I mean, he doesn't. People say it. who are of my political views tend to go like oh the spooky jews every single jew is out to get me and stuff well that that is and... the jewish question it's the idea that jews like culturally or genetically are disposed towards opposition to the white race and i've seen the poll threads too i'm not saying it's literally every nazi but you know i've seen the poll threads it's not like it's super subtle you know they'll call me a jew say all jews are anti-white they'll do the fucking parentheses thing half, around everyone who says anything that half of poll threads is shit posting you shows? Can't I mean, have irony you seen... distance yourself away from that. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes, you can because have you seen? Have you seen the the copy pastas on poll where it'll list off every single e celeb and it'll be like Milo, Zionist Jew, Z Stefan Molyneux, Zionist Jew. Yeah, and they and believe it. it. And he, and it I've keeps debated these asked. people. They believe that shit. They believe Not I'm Jewish. That I can't. I can't I'm accept the. Sure I can't accept the, the irony. I'm nah, sure nah, there's nah. some. I've spent nets. years of my life in and engaging with these communities. There are a fuckload of right-leaning identitarians who legitimately believe that Jews pose an existential threat to the white race. And when I brought up that po that position at the beginning and ascribed it to you, you said, oh yeah, well, I'm not the biggest fan of them. When I brought up the JQ's definition, you didn't challenge it. So I know you know that there are types out there who agree with those broader political positions. It's not everyone. And Nick Fuentes never goes on and directly says, I'm scared of all Jews, they frighten me, the white man. But... 
I mean, he doesn't have to say it directly for his political positions to be made evident through his behavior. It's called dog whistling, you know? I don't dog whistle ever, because I'm super open about what I believe in. But like him with like the, the you know, the cookies clip, right? The... Well, you have to say it like that or else you get zerged out of uh, the exactly. internet Exactly, yeah, so you have to lie about your positions because the, the if you it's don't not, lie, I wouldn't say it's lying, I mean, it, I don't want to. I don't want to say anything that would get you in trouble, but I mean, I I question it. I question it too. Question what? You won't get me in trouble, comrade. The cookie question. The cookie question. Right. So, you can't tell me. I, I don't. Well, you I don't can't tell. I don't. You can't tell me it's died. irony posting and then tell me you're a Holocaust denier too. You can't. No, you, no, no, no. You're you're mixing. I'm sorry. Oh, wait, I think if we're I'm mixing, mixing that, things wait, up clarify, a little bit. Please. Sorry. Okay. Um, I was saying the irony, or not to everyone is irony. I think when I was talking about like how we were talking about the the copy pasta, where the person names everyone a show, and you're like, yeah, I ran into people who think like that. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of wanted to make a, a quick point there that because you're an internet personality, you probably are more inclined to find more politically radical people to talk to you just because of your um, career, because yeah, relative, obviously relative since you're to a the political, political opinion, position, but not relative to Nazis. I think I get a pretty decent like look at the majority of the Nazi like community. But things like that copy pasta aren't always serious, and sometimes. And if you noticed, like I've noticed, every single time like that copy pasta is posted, it's it's by a meme flag. Okay. which means that they're hiding just, what what nation they're coming from which could be like any nation it could be it, the, it could be okay. like brazil or do, something do you it, it's just someone shit posting how many people do you believe died in the holocaust how many jews do you believe nazi germany killed in the holocaust just just be honest i don't if you say you question the numbers it's fine it's i'm not um, jumping down your throat with evidence here i'm not i'm not busting uh, out my history degree for this one i'm honestly I'm not 100% sure. Right. I don't think 6 million. I 100% do not think 6 million. Okay. okay. Maybe so, maybe a million. I, I'm just taking that okay, okay, number okay. out right. of my so ass. But that, he killed a lot of, pe a yeah, lot he of people. He, def died. he definitely did. So that's Holocaust denial. And you, again, you can't say that there are people making ironic comments about the JQ, which there are, but you can't say it's largely ironic when you yourself saying these positions are ironic unironically believe in the positions I'm saying you guys tend to hold. It's... I'm not saying all positions are ironic. I never okay, said all Holocaust are... denial is pretty far up there. It's not. That's not like a minor... And like... I didn't say everyone who espouses everything that they say is ironic. But then, there then why don't are we talk about the actual... On, there are some people who legitimately shitpost on like 4chan. Of course, never believe what you say on 4chan. Legitimately just lie or something. But I don't. But and I don't disagree. Are, wait, wait. But this is. But you realize this is misdirection. Completely denial. I never uh -huh. took the position that every person on 4chan was telling the truth. I took the position that Nazis are anti-Semitic and believe that the Jews are orchestrating a conspiracy to destroy whites and that they're Holocaust deniers. And you ca and then you deflect and you're like, oh well, a lot of people here are trolling. A lot of people here are joking, which they are. I'm not denying that. But a lot of them are being serious too. And you seriously believe a lot of the positions that um that that you just said a lot of people are trolling when i pointed out they were being done in other communities so with like with nick fuentes for example you acknowledged it with the holocaust denial which is what the cookie question is um he you know he dog whistles and he kind of expresses it in like a cool funny way that makes for a clip and he since deleted that video by the way and disavows any holocaust denialism because he feels the need to lie about his position to avoid getting axed off public platforms I don't have to do that. Uh, I don't lie about any of my positions. In fact, my honesty has gotten to me in trouble quite a few times. But that's one of the reasons why I find these conversations frustrating. So, like, there is um, undeniable historical evidence that about six million Jews died in the Holocaust. Not were gassed, mind you, just that were died. From everything involving being shot in the back of the head, to being gassed, to being starved, to being worked to death, to, I don't know, cholera. 
Um, it's the most well-documented historical event in history. Winston Churchill specifically said a detachment of photographers and historiographers, not historiographers, historians over there, specifically because he knew people would lie about it in the future, and he wanted to make sure there was as much evidence as possible to, to catalog, you know, this horrific act. It hasn't really changed how people responded to it of course but it's an indisputable historical fact the only like varying sort of historical discourse that like uh, kind of like questions the existing narrative is over incredibly esoteric stuff like uh like uh, shipment dates and like which person died where and resolving minor conflicts that are sure to arise when millions of people are slaughtered in, in like an industrial genocide but yeah but at the same time millions of Americans. This and is millions, irrelevant to what I just of said. Germans die. Yep. I, I know. I, I, I understand. Um, I understand that it's irrelevant. Um, let me, let me just say this to make it relevant. Okay. Um, a lot of different people died, and while six million Jews died, a lot more I thought of other million people Jews died. died. I was just taking. I was just pulling a number on my asses. I truly don't know. And honestly. Um, the whole Holocaust thing, that doesn't even really interest me that much. If 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 it's proven six million died, I'm 100 percent okay with six million dying. Like that's the number, that's what his history can say. That could be fine by me. That doesn't rep. My political views do not at all revolve around the Holocaust or that. That's just like an irrelevant part of history to me. Okay. Right now. But a lot of people in your political camp think it's pretty relevant and your default position was one which was which was aligned with a historical Holocaust revisionism. Like that was your default position. The default position I mean, is I would usually have to see the hegemonic. That what you're one. saying is true though. I would have to see proof that what you're saying li is true. Literally all existing evidence on the subject points to my conclusion. There is no evidence to suggest otherwise. That's why Nazi like Holocaust denial threads are full of easily debunked, easily repeatable myths that have been addressed literally thousands of times. Like the wooden doors thing, or the swimming pool thing, or the like all that stuff. Like, look, if you look at the color of the walls in the gas chamber, it's not discolored. All of these have been addressed like literally thousands of times by historians but it never matters because they either don't listen or a new group of schlubs come up to to you know internalize the same propaganda over and over and over again it never stops and it's you know pretty frustrating because when people deny the holocaust or reduce its numbers they're not doing it just because they you know have some questions about the you know official narrative they're doing it because they believe that a jewish controlled media has deliberately overinflated the number of jews that have been killed during the holocaust so they can guilt whites into being amicable towards positions that will lead towards their uh, genocide that is the reason why yeah, people do holocaust denial but is that is that honestly a bad thing i don't view it as honestly yes. a bad thing now promoting, wait, it... wait wait just to clarify really quickly <laughs> promoting misinformation and lying to further a conspiracy theory that festers hatred and conflict between two um uh, like racial groups or ethnic groups or whatever is in fact a bad thing yes lying only to make if you the world frame worse. it only if you frame it in the way you're framing it you're framing it in a very negatively way and you know I kind of agree with you on some points where, um, you know, getting obsessed with like the Holocaust and its numbers, that's not healthy, nor is it important towards like someone who's trying to, um, quote unquote, secure the blah, 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 14 words. Like, it's honestly not that helpful to like get stuck on that. Can you fact. express to me? And that's why I don't like talking about it. Holocaust denialism. Oh well, I don't perpetuate. I don't really care about ho the Holocaust nihilism, nor do then I perpetuate. Why did it. I just say I don't why really, it was I bad? Don't... And you said, "Well, it depends on how you frame it." Yeah, because you're because the way you're framing it is that could you frame it differently the, uh, so I can every... understand your perspective? Well, the way the way you said it to me sounded like people legitimately question the holocaust because the media and corporations are controlled by jews and because the fact is that white population has been going down in america the white so population is at this point greater than it ever has been in human history it's it's like it's like 50 
six or whatever percent in America. The flat number right now. of I, white people in the world is greater now. It, the world doesn't matter to me. The world doesn't matter to me. In America, what matters there are more to me, white people. What my, yeah, there could be more white people, but I want it to be like 80%. Okay, so again, what? so you believe that Holocaust denialism is okay if you're using it to promote a narrative of white nationalism. Is that correct? Um. No, I didn't say that. I'm really I'm trying sorry, to. I'm really, get, you said, you said it depends on how out. you frame it. I didn't get, I'm really I didn't, I didn't trying to ask you. Out. I'm really, really <laughs> super curious because I fra so I explained not only why it's wrong, but also how it hurts people. And you said it depends on how you frame it. And I'm really curious to see if there's a different way of framing it that would make it okay to lie about a historical event to stoke antagonism between two different groups of people. And you say now that it's okay if it's for the purpose of facilitating a white ethno state? I didn't I didn't say that. Then in what, what context I did say, is it fine? I said when people see all these things and they put them together. What things? And they see like what I the the many points i just made before like how how the holocaust Jews disproportionately uh control like a lot of media and corporations there are, there are several ethnic and... groups that disproportionately control large swaths of the media did you know that irish people yeah. and those of irish descendants yeah. have an yeah, and there's enormously a problem with that too. huh there's a problem with that too why is that a problem the irish question the irish question why is that a problem i think i've I think i've seen something about um, the I like Irish centralization. You know, there's a joke in my community power. about the Hibernian question, and it's that since uh, JQers are conspiracy theorists and generally irrational, the joke is that we make fun of them by doing the same kind of points, but we do it with the Irish, with the Hibernians. And the joke, the punchline of the joke, is that no one is actually retarded enough to believe that, and um, and and that that sort of that that punchline is ruined a little bit. Um, I think, by the idea that you unironically believe not only that there is a Jewish narrative to control media, but also an Irish narrative to control the media. Um, there is there is something up if, like, a lot of Irish people control things. That, do you know what group of there, people then? controls the greatest and most disproportional amount of power in every media outlet that affects both of our lives? inform me it's white people white people are the political racial group that have by far the most disproportionate amount of control of the lives of those who are not white the extent to which white people have exerted global control over people who are not white vastly outpaces any conceivable uh jewish or hibernian occupation with their own respective media not only do white people control the media which they unquestionably do white people control the global economy the entire world market centers around the u.s dollar which is controlled by a white hegemonic state the united states unquestionably is the white question is the most compelling question which makes it seem to, to some me, people yeah to some people yes like they could honestly have a problem with the u.s being what they if they think it's a white dominated state and so you don't actually it care. is but it's not going to be for long you don't actually care about which groups of people have unfair control over the world you just want to make sure your dudes are on top well i feel like we've kind of been going down like a rabbit hole which? of many different ideas and Kind of like you leading me down like this rabbit hole. Well, I'm like, mostly I gotta, asking like, defend you defend other people. I'm really like, asking you simple me, like, defend questions random about, people. I'm not asking you to defend random people. I'm asking you simple questions about your political ideology. So I believe that generally yeah, speaking, you I'm, should I'm make trying to explain my people. political ideology, but you keep like contrasting me with like other people and you keep bringing up like other random people like other groups of people no i'm I just directly told i accused you of not actually caring about disproportionate representation you only care about your group being on top that's you specifically that's not other groups i'm, I'm directly yes i do i i do believe that white people should control the united states and the european nations um, but I also at the same time believe that Asian people should control their nations yeah. and black people Wait, should why? control their nations. If, if a whole bunch of white people started 
colonizing Africa right we're now. We're not talking about colonizing, though. We're talking about the legal, um, law-abiding demographic proportion within a nation. Why should wh why should white people get to control like America? Why can't it be a democratic confederation of the people who live there, like this country was intended to be in its founding? Well, I mean, I don't believe that, but um, it I mean, depends wait, on just what is the how, your worldview. What does the Constitution empower the rights of government to? It's the people. Hmm? Yeah, the people. Yeah, the United States of America was founded off the liberal ideals of the Enlightenment. It's meant to be a democratic nation. There was nothing in the Constitution about this being a white We're a constitutional state. republic. A constitutional republic and a democratic nation are not mutually exclusive. We were a republic because we have representatives who we elect that are relevant in our government and because, you know, we have the states and such. And we're a democracy because those are elected by the people. Mm -hmm. Those are not mutually exclusive. I hear Nazis bring that up a lot. Well, we're not a democracy. We're a republic. As though those two terms have anything to do with one another. We're a democracy. It's founded in our constitution. The powers of the government are enshrined in the will of the people. It is the will of the people that allows the government to do what it does. Not white yes, people. Yes, there are lots of quotes from founding fathers talking about how... And they didn't enshrine it in the constitution. White people. No, 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 yeah, no, no. Because it didn't, it didn't need to be enshrined in the constitution. No, I'm sorry. So when think, you're founding a country... I don't country, think that they believe... I don't think they believe that we would get to the point yeah, we and, are right Yeah, and, and, um, and um, uh, Jefferson didn't believe in bathing with water. He took wind baths. Every morning he would stand up on a hill near the White House and bathe his naked genitals in the wind. Do you think all Americans should be inclined to do that too because one of the founding fathers believed in it? No. When you're setting rules for a country, no, but I think, they're enshrined I think that's kind of like law. making a false equivalence. It's, kind it's of like not a false man. equivalence. You're saying that because the founding fathers were racially prejudiced, that means the nation should be too. I'm telling you that Thomas Jefferson liked wind baths, so should the nation as well? No, I'm not of course saying not. That because, I'm not saying that specifically because a founding father believed in something that it should be followed. But I definitely do believe in tribalism. So, to so an wait, wait, wait. So we're and moving off of the what America is supposed to be point. We're just moving to a different belief you have now, because America. Well, isn't I mean, democracy. we've been, we've been like we've been going through a whole bunch. You've of, like, been going. Points. You've been moving off every uh, point you both, can defend because both. when they're challenged, they we fall both. apart. Hey, so, uh, hey, I'm, so I'm, try again, I'm trying to, I'm trying to explain my, I'm trying to explain my points, bro. No, no, no. I'm and, I and I appreciate. I'm 100 trying to be. I appreciate your willingness to express your points. You know, I'm, not, I'm not impugning you for that. Uh, what I'm telling you. But you gotta also remember, I'm not, I'm not some like super big like dude who's like always in political debates and everything. Well, no, I'm, I'm but you're get still, off track. A, you're still I'm gonna a, get off track. You're a Jewish questioner who believes that there is a, uh, that the Holocaust numbers were exaggerated and America should be a white ethno state. So I feel perfectly comfortable challenging your political views, whether or not you make a living streaming like I do or doing political content. Yeah, so, no, that's, that's perfectly fine. Yeah, so America is a democracy, it was, you know, enshrined in our constitution. And um, it should be pointed out, by the way, and this is probably something Nick wouldn't tell you, it's that the founding fathers didn't want America to be white. They wanted it to be Anglo-Saxon. Where does it say that? Okay, yeah. yeah. I, I have read that. I have read that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they complained. It was one of the founding fathers in one of personal diary that they wrote. They said that America should be kept ethnically homogenous, okay, point to you, because they have already experienced the misery of incorporating a foreign blood into the population before. This was in the 18th century. The only immigrants that had come to America at the time were Germans. They didn't want a white ethnostate. They wanted an Anglo ethnostate. And even in spite of their prejudices, they didn't enshrine that into the Constitution. And now we have a glorious multicultural America, which has the legal, historical, and cultural right to enact democracy based on the will of its population, no matter their skin color. I don't think things need to be enshrined. In so you the don't care about America then? You just... it's... No, 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 no. You're getting ahead of, you're getting ahead of what I'm going to say All right. to try to get me with a gotcha. It's not a gotcha. You were already got. This yeah. is just sort of a post. I d it's gotcha. not that I don't. No, I, re I respect the Constitution, but there are things in the Constitution that are not in the Constitution that you can believe. So, right. Like, so, I don't, arguing... that's, I don't believe that by law that the Constitution, so we have to be a white ethno state. Like, I'm not, I'm not saying that. And I don't why even did you bring up the founding like fathers' intentions white earlier? This is what I mean by you backing off because, points. Earlier you brought that, up that, that the founding... I don't is, know, the founding fathers... Because that is a point. No, it's not. 
It's yeah, a point you, that actively trying, contradicts yours. But you're yours. trying to bring up history. You're trying because you're trying to bring up history as a point you for yourself. Up so, the I was, I was, so I was just bringing up. So I well, you're bringing up the Constitution and stuff. So no, you I brought was up just the founding up fathers as an argument in favor of the idea that there is a there's like a, a, a jurisprudence to America being kept a white ethno state, and that part is easily dismantled. So now you're saying that well, actually, it's not legality or history that interests you in making this a white ethno state. So if America is by its legal and historical design very much not a white ethno state. Why on earth should this be made? I one? said that I said that directly after you were talking about how we should be a constitutional uh, democracy for the people and stuff. So that's why I brought up what the founding fathers' personal opinions were. Okay, that, which that, ended for, up being irrelevant for context, that's why I was bringing that up. So I again, don't that's why should this be irrelevant white... or contradictory? So why should this be a white ethno state then? Why? Yeah. Why, why should America only be controlled and lived in by whites? I don't exclusively believe that the United States sh should be controlled and 100% controlled by whites. I'm, 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 I'm cool with like 30, I 20. Never, and I, you're here, here. walking away from the point. Here, I never said okay, 100%. Okay, here, here's my view on, on race and the nation. Or before I like say something that is going to be like taken out of context or something um now if we the only problem i have is that we have an immigration system and everything that promotes bringing in tons of people and everything um if we tons of if if we didn't have the 1965 immigration act and we had like a closed border um that was secure i um would be totally fine with bringing in immigrants okay wait what, why, why, fine. Is, why is our current immigration system bad because i believe it um messes why? up demographics wait why how is it messing up you're going in circles how is it wrong it's, for america it's, to it's, have whatever it's... ethnic population it has because it's um it's breaking up the current demographics of well, america wait, so demographics uh, change uh, like all the my time town everywhere. like my town like my town in in illinois why should i i, can, I don't wait, which used to be majority bad? white is why? now majority non-white why is that bad? who cares uh, well some people care i don't it, care no all, i don't care if people care i'm asking why and, they and care. some people don't and some people don't care that you want it to be multicultural. No, wait, 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 wait. It's, you, wait, it's wait, wait, legitimately you, a personal wait, case. Wait, no, no. You have to make an argument for why you care. There are literally people who are shooting up mosques because they believe that countries should be kept all white. Because I it believe, will wait, legitimately wait, wait. be I safer. Believe, it will... I, I don't care what people feel. I want you to make an argument. Here's my argument for multiculturalism. Since I value people being happy and prosperous and contented in general, um, immigration and free movement across borders seems to facilitate this to a large degree. Additionally, cultural saturation leads to an increase not only in the general increase in economic productivity in a nation, it also gives people more shit to do. And the fact that American culture has historically been based largely on the contributions of ethnic minorities is a pretty strong indication. No one has it. Uh, literally, music, dance. Music is not you, music, music and is dance. A culture was not was not was not uh, given to us like was not developed was by ethnic minorities. I never or, said it was like I it was developed. I'm, America. I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't. I didn't mean to misuse um, the word, but like it. It wasn't developed by ethnic minorities. What do you, like, what do you mean? People say like Blue. people say punk rock like punk rock without without the the black people of the blah 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 19 whatever punk rock wouldn't exist so black people you, created i'm sorry punk rock. really quickly do you feel you have a good enough understanding on music theory history to actually like defend the point that white people didn't have like ethnic yes. minorities significantly contribute yes because okay then, wait 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 music, this is wait wait then this is already an incredibly it, boring subject to me because this isn't disputed anywhere in any serious academic context blues and jazz the foundation of rock which ended up being like one of the biggest American cultural exports for decades, were largely developed in Harlem and in other ethnic minority communities. The idea you that don't you could think say that wouldn't have been created 
by white people. That, wait, eventually. that's a completely and different question. Wait, 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 wait. You can't say, hey, ethnic communities didn't contribute to music, man. And then I point out they didn't. You're like, well, white people would have done it if they hadn't. What wait, the fuck wait, are you wait, talking wait. about, my wait, dude? Wait, wait, wait. You, you are taking me out of context and you're blowing up what I'm saying and you're misrepresenting what I'm saying because you're not letting me get a chance to actually respond. And... Because you because you speak quicker than me. Yeah, it's a talent. You're, you're uh, professional so... at you're a professional at this. I'm not, bro. Yeah, give okay, me a little slack, so... bro. <laughs> what what context did I take you out of? This is getting super boring. You realize literally every point that you make, you walk back on, right? I don't think you've made a single point that you didn't Except later. I'm not. This, Except the, I'm the problem not. is, and I'm I can give you, wait, wait, I can give you advice. A, wait, wait, this is, this is honest, I'm trying my best. I'm, I'm giving you, I'm imparting, I'm imparting my streamer wisdom, okay? This is the issue. Nick Fuentes and his talking points do not prepare you for discussions on this subject because Nick Fuentes relies on his audience being stupid and ignorant for any of his points to make sense. That's the difference okay, between my you are really quickly. That wait, 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 my sir, you're taking me out of context. You're interrupting me. Okay, really quickly. Okay, I just want to make sorry. this super clear. That's okay, the difference between Nick and I. You know, when I try to deliver points, I try to do it cohesively enough that people who are watching have a broader understanding of the subject who maybe sort of reason it out themselves. But Nick literally just regurgitates the same pull tier talking points that get utterly fucking eviscerated when anyone whose IQ is above like 42 comes out to like attack them. And like every point you've walked back on, like every single one, the Holocaust point, what, the what JQ point, point the JQ point, on? the Zionist point, the walk, music making point, the American you're, founding wait, fathers point, respond, the constitutionalist point. Respond. Every single point you, you walk how, back how on. How am I supposed, how am I, how are you going to say I walk back on a point, but the, you're right. what's I'm sorry. going on? I'm being incredibly unfair. We, I'll give you one more chance. You can what, walk what out happens, of this conversation. What's, what's, what has been happening? All right, I got so fucking bored with that trash, dude. Holy shit. What a fucking coward. And moonwalk out of that conversation. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. What a fucking moron. Nick's fans, I guess. About the most you can expect from them. I thought that, I thought initially, initially I thought that had the potential to turn into like a somewhat decent conversation when he was like, oh yeah, actually, I guess it's not Jews that I have a problem with, it's Zionists. But, um, but he like every point, like it was, it, he has like a, like, like an infinite number of like, uh, 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 like failed points that he has to make before. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm, I don't like labels, you know, I'm just a conservative. Uh, I do have issues with the Holocaust numbers. <laughs> Holy shit. Jesus Christ. Well, Amer why should America be a white ethno state? Well, the Founding Fathers won it. No, they fucking didn't, you know? Oh, well, actually, it doesn't matter what they wanted, you know? I was just mentioning that. Ah, uh, fuck me. Do you think you could start substantiating some claims instead of saying all existing evidence on the subject agrees with me? With the Holocaust, no. There is literally no, like, master tier list of Holocaust evidence that I could compile that uh, that would be enough for Holocaust deniers. With other things, though, like, I can't supply evidence on literally everything. If they're making a claim, they should be able to supply evidence to the fact. Bring on Sammy? All right. How many Groypers do we have in chat right now? I see a lot of people Jew posting over there. Hey, you guys, genuinely fucking pathetic. And none of you would fare any better in a discussion either. Nor would your, uh, nor would your god king, Nick. One of the reasons why he's too pussy to actually debate me when he doesn't have three of his butt buddies to back him up. Um, you'd be very familiar with his fondness for butt buddies, wouldn't you? Honestly, like, do you think it makes you guys look good when you spend, like, six hours a day, like, blackpilling in Pole and in Nick Fuentes' channel? Um, like... The fuck are you shooting at me for? Who fired that? That came from like above. Uh, oh, the bow floats. Of course, naturally, Dark Souls too. Um. But the um. But the uh, um. Do you think it makes you look good, where you like blackpill yourselves like crazy, um, and then like you actually talk about the issues, and it just makes you look like a bunch of fucking morons? How the hell is Vosh a pedo? Um, they're very insistent on that. They call lots of folks pedos. I'm also a Jew. I wouldn't trust their prescriptive judgments too much. Hey, hold on. All right, who's this Sammy person? The black pill. Fuck. Sammy Al Hadid, my comrade. What's up? Who? Oh, is this fucking Vosh right now? Yeah, it's fucking Vosh right now. What's up, comrade? Is this oh, a fellow lefty? Shit. 
here to agree with no, me? No, Dominic Fuentes is fan. Damn. All right, what's oh up? my god, I'm actually talking to you right now. Holy shit. Yeah, what's up? Um, wait, Easier before we reach. go on... Can... Sorry? I'm fairly easy to reach, you know? I do, I do the Collins pretty often. Yeah, I've got the stream I mean, chat. it's great, because I've watched all your videos. It's like, it's it's weird, man. This is crazy. Are you oh, like, like the uh, is... the extreme, like, uh, enlightened centrist, where you, consu you consume Nick Fuentes and Vosh, and you've got, like, both ends of the political spectrum? It balances out? Oh, no, I'm a fairly conservative, but I watch heaps of left-wing content. Alright, hit me up, comrade. Well, I've watched all the Destiny stuff and your stuff, so, yeah. Paleo-conservative away. What are we talking about today? Jews or IQ? What's up? Uh, I'm not a race realist, but, I mean, Jews, that would take too long. I'd, I just wanted to talk about, um, like, the whole Nick Fuentes thing, just real quick. Like the Catholic Did you thing? even go... Yeah, did you go back to his stream where he explained, like, who Lolly Socks was? Uh, I saw a portion of it, yeah. I mean, it wouldn't really matter what he said. It's not as though he has, like, a penchant for honestly, uh, you know, assessing the situations that he finds himself in. Um, and I've already, with the per with the previous guy who came on, I already explained why I did the, the Fuentes is gay thing. I feel like there's a hypocrisy in the, um, the, the potential for degeneracy he expressed there when compared to his penchant for accusing others of being degenerates. Yeah, but dude, the, the the whole point was, if you go back and you listen to who Lolly Socks is, you're missing out on all this context. I know he's a Nazi. I know he's a Nazi too. I mean, I'm aware of that. I mean, well, Nick's not really a Nazi. I don't know why. I know you like right, to confuse paleo I'm not, I'm not actually and Nazi. Right. I'm not. What's the difference between Nazism and paleo conservatism? If you don't mind me asking. Well, paleo conservatism is Christian, and we don't believe in ethnic genocide. First of whoa, all, whoa, that's whoa, whoa, don't, don't besmirch one. the good Nazis. There are plenty of neo Nazis I've talked to who identify as neo Nazis who don't believe in ethnic genocide and who are very Christian. Well, then they're not Nazis, then, dude. No, no, they're not. Wait, why? Then you're not paleo conservative. What do you mean? You're not paleo conservative. You're a Nazi. Or, wait, or maybe, wait. maybe. What? It's a completely meaningless distinction made up by people who could fa fairly describe as Nazis or paleoconservatives since you share all the same basic talking points and all the same basic social issues. No, I dude, this is where you're conflating. How, how is it that we can have socialism as 20 million different types of socialism, but then when you talk about the right wing, everyone's just a Nazi? Um, because socialism is academically expressed and coherent and developed by intellectuals, and Nazis are, for the most part, simpletons who can't um, tie their shoelaces, let alone make decent political theory. There's a reason why there's no good fascist political theory, and also why fascism emerged sort of diegetically from uh, given material conditions rather than being ascribed by an academic class that was willing to try it out. Uh, it's because fascism and everything that comes from it, neo-Nazism, paleoconservatism, identitarianism, um, I'm sorry, uh, uh, whatever other terms people prefer to use, however you identify, um, all of these things tend to arise naturally from an agitated, like, white uh, working class, for the most part, and usually aren't the product of, like, an academic sphere trying to, uh, trying to, like, try out a cool new ideology. Yeah, and when Karl Marx had his... He was a huge academic, I'm guessing you would think, and when he tried out his ideas, that didn't go too well either. Do you think that what could you just said is a response thing. to the point that I just made, or was that the first gotcha that you came up with? Did you think that hurt? Would you like to take a no, second No, look. I would, well, obviously what you're doing now is, like, you're giving me so much to work with, is I can't really respond to all of that. Like, obviously you're gish galloping me right now, but... I was just answering the question, man, but... Um, no, hey, no, hold no, no, on. it's okay. Just, we, can, we can pretend yeah. that paleoconservatism is a totally different thing from Nazism, okay? So can I, I just explain again? Can we just go back? Because it's important, dude, because I can't stand when you're calling... You even call, like, neocons like Ben Shapiro, like, fascists? I'm like, what? Yeah, to oh, yeah totally. Yeah, that's, that's an easy call. Well, if you're talking about Israel, that's a different thing, but... Um... Most you know, American Benjamin conservatives Perry. are fascists. I, I think that's fair. I, I'm pretty comfortable saying that. Um, so neoconservatives, neoconservatives are fascists, but yet they want open borders, globalism, free trade, well, mass that's the, immigration. That's the, well, that's the that's the distinction that you're not capable of recognizing because you only see like based, you know, like uh, like white nationalists and those who aren't. Um, most conservatives nation. don't want people coming into the country. That's why Trump's the wall was such a big talking point. Whoa, the only, whoa, whoa, whoa. The only no, element, no, 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 no. 
Wait, 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 wait. No, hold on. Do I need to correct you. Feel free. Okay, so neocons want open borders. Yes, dude, I need to correct you because neocons, they want the, you know, the work visas, the mass migration. You can, they can talk about illegal immigration all day long, but when they're talking about legal immigration, they want mass legal immigration. They want the work visas. They want cheap labor. That so that is not you're fascism. You're conflating right now is the populist right and the business right. The business right, you're correct. Yes. They want as many people in the country as possible because it yes, makes the Ben Shapiro most... is the business right. Yes. Yes. Um, and to, pay yeah, well, to, and with, with certain exceptions, yes. I mean, the Muslim ban he supported. You know, Muslims are capable of working like as much as any other group. Um, but for the populist well, right, the issue. populist right. Well, no, it's the same issue. It's about letting people into the country and whether or not racism overpowers business sense. So for yes, most, but there was a problem. Wait, 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 hold on. So for most conservatism, for most conservatives, racism does not overpower, or sorry, racism absolutely overpowers business sense. Most conservatives think that Mexicans are here to steal our jobs, illegal or legal. Muslims are coming in here to set up ISIS cells within our country. And, um, and, and fucking Asian people are over here, like, stealing our college application forms for my good white son, who should have been able to get into Harvard with a 2.8 GPA, okay? <laughs> That's most conservatives lean more towards the racist side of things because they're not business leaders who benefit from that immigration. It is the hypocrisy of the right that they simultaneously dog whistle to these people, Trump's the wall, what have you, when Mexico sends people, they're not sending their best, while hypocritically supporting the business rights, broader interest of immigration. That's the difference I would like to clarify. I also think it's possible to allow a bunch of people into your country for economic reasons, but still to be fascist leaning. Fascism is historically incoherent, as is Ben Shapiro's position. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So you're saying, um, so yeah, so they, so they're fascist, but they, they will let in, um, mass immigrant, like work visas, uh, you know, import the third world anyway, because it's, it's if fascism. You, if you ask the average American conservative, incoherent. if you ask the average American conservative what their opinion on was, was on, on work visas, they would give you like a dumb stare back. They don't give a fuck. They don't know. No, no, but that's the point. You're you're talking about neocons there. Paleoconservatives, real people will be coherent on this. They'll say, We don't want we want to stop immigration now. We need it to stop. We don't want work visas coming in. We don't we want our wages to start increasing again. But I never we don't wait, want these I, I never said any I never said any of that. Um, the white nationalists are incoherent for different reasons, but I didn't say they were the same as neocons. I never made that take. Okay. But so, but this is where okay, maybe I'm a little bit confused. So, so do you agree then? So there is a difference between paleoconservatism and neoconservatism, but you're just saying there is no difference because it's just incoherent. No, and no, no. They There's no difference with... between paleoconservatives and ne and Nazis. There's absolutely a difference between neocons and neocons are at least salvageable human beings. You oh, guys okay. are are literal garbage fires, but. Um, but, but no, there, there's a difference. You share your relative levels of political incoherence, but beyond that, you two are very, very different. Okay. Okay. Well, let's get to paleoconservatism conservatism and Nazism then, right? Uh, if you're going to explain to me, like, the differences between these two, I'm just, I'm just, just not interested. I, how about, how about, I'm in my not. mind, I think paleoconservative, but when I say Nazi, you hear paleoconservative. So I can just use the right term and we can get on with the discussion. But but th but this is something that's really important to me because you do this in all your debates though. I don't, so you're telling me you don't really want to get into this. You don't you don't want to see the um the the difference between paleoconservatism and Nazism. You don't want to engage with that anymore. There, yeah, there is, there is no there is no meaningful for one. Again, these positions tend to be incoherent, and there have been neo Nazis historically long before the term paleoconservative was e used in any sort of like common discourse um, that would have believed the things you believe and there would have been neo-nazis who believe different things the general i trends here tend to be white supremacy white nationalism uh the jewish question like basic hit pointers like that and in that respect those points are so overwhelmingly prescient in your communities that any other minor difference between the two like whether or not the fuck you're no. christian completely irrelevant to me i don't care if you're well, no 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 no, this is, and you just got away with all this. I can't let you get away with this because oh, please, tell, tell, you, you just, can't keep getting away with it. Hit me up with it. I'm ready to learn. Oh my god, dude! You just said, um, in these communities of paleoconservatism, Nazi, there's um white supremacy, white nationalism. Nick, Nick, it's like a broken record with Nick. He's made this distinction a hundred times now. Nick, no, he's not a white supremacist. Person. Yeah. 
Oh my god, dude. He's Wait, not give me the distinction. Sense. Quit fucking LARPing over the significance okay, of the listen, difference. Okay, listen, listen, listen. Paleoconservatism is not white supremacy. It's not an ethno state. Mm -hmm. We just want to control legal immigration. We don't believe in a hierarchy of races. And we are Christian. We don't believe in ethnic cleansing or murdering. Nazis are secular. Nazism is a secular form wait, of government. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So paleoconservatism. In... Wait, wait, okay. Wait, then yeah. all I need to do is convert to Christian, and I'm a paleoconservative. Because I also think we yes. need to control immigration. Damn. So paleo-Christian just means anybody who's a Christian and doesn't believe in open mm. borders. Um, paleoconservatism is Christian. It's nationalist. It's control of, of legal immigration. This is this and is so fucking boring to me, dude. Dude, it's Nick is a, wait, wait, can we, just... wait, 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 can we not? Nick has advocated for uh, for white nationalism before. For no, white no, no, let's get for into white that. supremacy is, before, for the Jewish question before, for Holocaust denialism okay. before. Why would you wait? Really quickly, you you yeah. you you fanboyed out a little bit when you come to speak to me. That's fine. I'm not making fun of you for that. Okay, I used to do the same thing when I come into big figures. Why would you come on here and then waste both of our times trying to dilute the Nazism in your movement as? Christians who care about immigration. Neocons are Christians who care about immigration and are nationalists. No, okay? they don't. Ben That's Shapiro. Ben Shapiro no. fits the definition you just gave. You realize that, right? No, he's a globalist. He's not no, a nationalist. No, 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 no. Yeah, I, I, I get it. I get in your little like hug box. All these words mean the same things, <sighs> but in reality, Ben Shapiro is not a fucking globalist. And also, your only description yes. there, your only description there was somebody who cares about controlling immigration, which Ben Shapiro does. You can be a globalist and believe in controlling immigration. He doesn't care about controlling immigration, dude. He will import the third world as long as it's cheap, cheap labor work visas coming over because it's all corporate interest to him. Oh, wait, That's then the he, wait, then he cares. Wait, then he cares about controlling immigration. Yeah, he wants immigration coming in as long as it's good business sense. That sounds like controlling immigration. To yeah, me. paleo conservatives don't agree with that because it's lowering So it's wages. not just controlling immigration then, is it? No, but that's not okay. Why would you? Why? Controlling... Why can't we just talk no, about the sorry. points? Okay, yeah, we will. We will. Just, just real quick before we get into the thing. Um, I shouldn't have said controlling immigration. I said just banning immigration all altogether. Pretty oh much yeah, that's a yeah, that's a years. lunatic point that would lead to the destruction of the country. Yeah, but sure, yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, I disagree, but yeah, I know you. Do. Okay, okay, so let let's get into Nick Francis. Wait, and his really wife's quickly. Supremacy. Why would you say control immigration when you mean stop all immigration? Yeah. That's what I just said. That's what I just said. I fucked up on that point. I'm okay, sorry. Okay. It was a mistake. Just, it's just a I, habit I mean, sometimes when I'm talking yeah. to your people that you kind of, you describe your political positions a little bit more neutrally than they actually tend to oh, be. Oh yeah, hiding our power levels. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, okay. I never do it. Do I hide my power level ever? I'm usually pretty open with all my positions. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. I don't, okay. Let, let's just get into, um, that's a different, uh, conversation let's get into nick and his white supremacy what so what has he said that i'm like, not interested um, in, in like like clip champing nick or whatever we can we can discuss like broader but, positions because he like dog whistles like a motherfucker um the uh the, the but, like but no this is dangerous dude this is really dangerous because mm -hmm. what's happened with the left now like it's it's, just, it's, it's dangerous almost, how people keep accusing nick frontes of being racist that's a sort of a broader social problem that we need to address it, no, no, no. It's dangerous because it's almost postmodernism with with how you use words. It's almost like words are just like weapons. It's, it's we, almost like they don't over, mean anything. How about we go over your positions because you're the person to whom I'm speaking. And if I was talking with Nick Fuentes, I would do the exact same thing with him. So when I think uh, of white supremacist, you know, racist, do we, do we want to defend the claim whether or not like racism is present in your movement? Is that a... Is that a fair like question that I can um, ask, or would you concede that your movement is literally brimming with racists? Um, well, who the Nick Francis movement or the like Wigan nationalist? Literally, yeah. no, no, no. Literally anyone you're a part of. Paul, Eight Chan, uh, Nick Fuentes' uh, movement. I don't, I don't know, know Paul, what dude. degenerate hellhole you spend your social time in, but that probably has racism <laughs> in it. I mean, no, I'm just saying. Uh, I don't really like Paul. Four Chan's pretty shit. Um, 
I'm not like an I, the alt right is. Uh, I know you think Nick Francis is part of the alt right, but no, that, that's. I know, a, I know, I know. You guys are constantly purity checking one another. It's fucking hilarious from the outside. It's not purity checking. a bunch checking, of people dude. with the same political positions end up canceling and disavowing one another over the simplest They're not shit. The same, dude. Yeah, yeah. I know, oh. I know. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm painting oh with a broad God. brush. I just when I, my eyes cross a little bit, all of the same like racist white nationalists who make the same talking points and believe that Jews are orchestrating a global conspiracy against white people, they all tend to like look and sound the same. But that's my matter. I'll try to be oh more open. My. So, so people can't talk about the Jewish question. They be not Can we talk about, about your question. positions? How okay. much are you going to keep wasting our time crying okay, that I'm pointing out you guys have the same basic positions? Okay, because it just annoys me how you just paint brushes over the right wing, dude. It's just really... That's, that's one you know of what my, my issue is with? The positions, not the specific identities. Okay. I don't actually care whether the person I'm arguing with identifies as a, as a, as a, a Whig Nat or as a neo-Nazi or as a white nationalist or an identitarian or white supremacist or any other. I don't care what they identify as. I care about the positions they hold. So okay. with regards to racism. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay, so, okay. So what was your question? Is racism still prevalent or what are your um, uh, opinions on race, did you say? Well, you, uh, well, I was asked, I believe, by you if, if Nick Fuentes was white supremacist or I believe I said he's white supremacist. And then you yeah, challenged me on that and I said I didn't want to go over clips because the guy dog whistles like a motherfucker. I'd rather talk with the person yes. who I'm actually speaking. So okay. you, you're right, actually. We um, never actually had a broader discussion topic for this, did we? We just kind of waltzed in and started arguing. No, I'm just in, dude. I'm really happy to be talking to you. Honestly, I was in your Discord and and then I was like, holy shit. I, I didn't really come to here with it. I was I was going to talk about the Nick thing and then if you wanted to talk about something else, but I'll 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 give you something here. I, I disagree with Nick on um, African Americans specifically because he he would like to try and say, oh, all the like neocon people just say, oh, we just need to throw money at black people. That's not going to help them. He he just he thinks it's um because of race and IQ, right? I don't would, think would that, that way because be an example of white supremacy. If he believes black people are genetically no, but inferior. that's not white supremacy, dude. Wait, 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 I wait, know... wait, wait. White supremacy isn't believing black people are genetically inferior. He d he might very well think that, but how can he be a white supremacist if he believes in race realism? Because then, by that logic, Asians should be. Are, are Dude, the most you, no, you you've bought into it. Yeah, it's not racism; it's race realism. You know they made that distinction. Well, yeah, distinction you know they made dude. that. You know they made that distinction to fool like the no. media, right? Not to fool their own fucking dudes. No, no, no. Sorry, sorry. Let let me let me um. Sorry, let let's rewind a little bit. It is racist, but it's not white supremacist because okay. race realism just proves that Jews and Asians like, are superior the classic, to white people. I'm not racist for going on and on about how blacks have inferior IQ because by using IQ as a metric, no. I'm actually pointing out Ashkenazi Jews are better than white people. You're right. I know. Yeah. I'm are you going to listen to me, dude? I said it was racist, but it's not white supremacist. Well, I guess. According to because, Nick, are white yeah. people genetically more intelligent or not than black people? Um, I don't know how much percentage he thinks genetics plays a role in IQ, but I think maybe it's like 50-50 to win. Maybe it's like 90%. I don't know, but I disagree with him on that, dude. I'm, I was just explaining, like, I don't really want to get into race realism because I really know fucking nothing about it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not white supremacy, dude. It, because by that logic, then Asians and Jews are superior to him. Now, how about person. this? Wait, I'm actually going to deign to make an actual argument here. What if people who talk about race realism only use the IQ differences between white and black people to um, support a hierarchical justification of discrimination against black people, but then ignore those same talking points when it comes to um, Jews or Chinese people? Yeah, they obviously, yeah, it would be convenient for them. They would, they would ignore, they would take Asian... Because I've seen... Okay, I'm I, at debate. Okay. I have seen... <laughs> Sorry. Huh? I've seen a lot of people on race realist forums very yeah. interested in the IQ difference between white and black people. You know, they seem very keen. Oh, they don't just talk about the IQ difference either. You know, they say a lot of nasty stuff about black folks. But you knew that. And, um, yeah. and I see very okay. little discussion about how, well, actually, we should consider the fact that we are also superior to the Chinese. Yeah. Which makes me think 
They're not actually interested in an impartial, race-blind analysis of proportional IQ differences between the groups, and are more interested in selectively using the difference between white and black IQ on average as a cudgel to justify oppression of black people. Yeah, I, I, I can see, I can, I can agree with that. Obviously, I see that, and yeah, that, that's, that's possible, yes, of course, and a lot of people do do that. I understand that. But it's just, it's just, I guess it's the principle, really. You just, dude, I just, can't you just be more careful with your terminology? You've got to be very careful. I don't think because... there's any terminology I've yet used that's been inaccurate. Okay, in that, in that sense, if they're ignoring Asians and Jews, and they're just talking about it in an American sense, they're talking about race differences between whites and blacks, obviously, yeah, you could say it's white supremacy because they're ignoring... Um, Jews and Asians who by their logic would have a higher IQ obviously So the, yeah, you could call it white supremacy there. Yeah, I, I concede on that point. I understand that That's most people who talk about race and IQ the number of people who talk Whoa. about race The number of people who talk about race and IQ in an impartial academic sense is limited pretty much exclusively to the academia Usually when people well, talk what about, about it, Stefan like, Molyneux did Stefan Molyneux is a Nazi. Yeah, Oh my god! I know, I know! Oh, oh it must be all of the white nationalism and race realism and the fact that he keeps talking about Jews. It's... Uh, can we, can we keep doing this? How many times are we going to go through this cycle again? Well, I also I'll think never, Goebbels I'll, was a Nazi. Yeah. Does that... J j imagine my shock, right? Does that... You can't be a globalist and be a Nazi. You, it's impossible. You wait. Wait. Because Nazis Stefan, wait, is Stefan, wait, Stefan Molyneux is a white nationalist. How is he? I, I've only watched a little bit of his content. Okay, Maybe okay, then, then you should back off this point, because he's not a globalist by even your definition. What do you mean? I'm, I, no, I just pointed out there that you can't be a Nazi and a globalist at the same time. You impossible. can't be what? You can't be a Nazi and be a globalist. You it's, have to be a, a nationalist good, a, to be a Nazi. It's a good thing that Stefan Molyneux is a huge fucking nationalist, then. Um, okay, yeah. But you said something... Yeah, okay. But but didn't you just say you can be a globalist and be a Nazi? Say before. Sorry? No, I said you can be a globalist and a fascist. But even then, I wouldn't call Ben Shapiro a globalist by any stretch of the imagination. I would say he makes. He is. Oh. I would say he makes oh necessary. No, a true globalist would be someone like me because I also promote multiculturalism. Ben doesn't. What he does is make selective capitulations towards his business interest, because that dude is a hollow shell filled with money. No anti-Semitism arena. Um, I wouldn't consider that to be a genuine ideological predisposition towards globalism, more a capitulation towards his corporate masters. For him to be a true globalist, I'd want to see video streams of him talking about how, actually, we bring in the work visas, not only so we can, you know, benefit from their labor, but also so... Um, also, so, you know, we can uh, uh, truly uh, uh, taste the, the culture, the diverse multicultural flavors of the world. But he, he, didn't, no, he doesn't but do that. He's an American you're, supremacist. You're conflating, you're conflating, like, you're trying to put culture into globalism, and I'm just merely talking about it economically. E economically, Ben Shapiro is a globalist. I guess you could say he's not a globalist because he, he criticizes Islam, but I'm just talking about it economically, he's a globalist. <laughs> I mean, I've criticized Islam. I'd consider myself a globalist, right? Yeah, but you'll still import them nonetheless to Europe and America. Yeah, of course. Why would I dozens? not? Yeah, of course, of course. Wait, but, that was a question. Uh, that, that, that's another... I don't know if you want to get into Islam. Well, not well, not Islam specifically, just any group of people. Um, when... Can't you see the... So you just... You still... Of all your debates, you still don't understand... I promise you that I'm more reasons. familiar with your talking points than I am, but please, go ahead. Dude, I... You know, so you, you... No, I... Dude, I've watched all your debates, so by that logic, then I'm just as much as informed about it on... than you are, so... We're, we're even, I guess. So why, so, um, Yeah, why should I want to bar people from my country? So, of all the debates you've had about the cultural reasons for immigration, you don't see that... Maybe not even... Not even, let's not even say banning immigration, let's just say p having pauses, having a little bit here, a little bit there. You can't even see that, you know, moderation or or um, any of that is, is beneficial because wait, when you wait, import wait, 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 a huge... I don't, I don't support immediate open borders. That'd be fucking insane. But that's for well, logistical what's happening reasons. in Europe right now? 
an uh, American? No, 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 That's not happening in Europe right now. The the countries the, the countries in Europe, some of them, agreed to take on the responsibility of housing some folks who were a part of the Syrian refugee crisis. That is not the same as having open borders. Let's be careful with our terminology here. We wouldn't want to be irresponsible. Well, so, I'm not talking about refugees. Well, okay, then that's an even easier point to refute because they don't have open borders in the EU. None of the countries have open borders. They have right of free passage amidst their own countries, oh, but that was a selective agreement not... they made. Sorry, sorry, the, the, sorry, this is semantics here. I, when I say open borders, I don't mean it's like illegals can come in, you can just walk over. Open I'm borders has a having... definition, and it's that. Open borders is when there yeah, are no sorry, borders. Sorry, my mistake. Okay. Sorry, my mistake. When I said open borders, I meant uh, uh, mass immigration, just... Um, what is, what is mass um, just, immigration? you know, loose legal immigration is what I meant. I didn't mean to say open borders. I'm but sorry. America, so Europe is having, America yeah. has one of the most stringent immigration processes of any country on earth. Unless you're going to a place like North Korea, there are very few countries on earth that have more like a stringent okay. selection process than America does. I'd hardly call so it 1.1 1. million immigrants. So 1.1 1. 1 million immigrants a year is, is um, strict immigration. Uh, yeah, actually. That's 0.3% <laughs> of that's our... That's just me. That, wait, 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 I know, I get it. Wait, yes we can. We have been for a while now. You, it's 0.3% of our population, and our native white population has a below replacement birth rate. We need some level of base immigration just to keep our population afloat. And um, and with adding on to that, yeah, markets tend to grow, you know. Uh, shit, damn it. Um, them growing means that there's a, a greater economic prosperity. So again, we're getting into semantics here. What what does mass immigration okay. mean? What does open borders mean? Why should I have a fuck about yes. people coming into my country? Like why? Yeah, why why well, care about um any cultural um homogeneity, any any sense yes. of nation? Wait wait wait. Any I don't, wait 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 wait. Hold on. Wait wait wait. If they come into our country, they're in our nation. The nation isn't impacted by that. As for cultural homogeneity. Why the fuck would I care about that? I like multiculturalism. Yeah, why care? Just you, you, you. At, at the same, at the same time, you say I criticize Islam, but yeah, who who cares about um, the Muslims that are coming in with with a culture that's completely just backwards? Wait, 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 wait. You, you do you're... wait. You do realize the most conservative religious fundamentalist group in this country is fundamentalist Christians, right? They're the ones yeah, who are responsible we, I, for I, I Israel didn't... being. They're the ones responsible for America being Israel's bitch boy. So I feel like if anything, yeah, you the, and I would share real Christians. Christians. Like of them. Dude, but... those are all like neocons. I don't know why you're conflating those people who you know get shekels from Israel and and um, pan to them. They're not real Christians, dude. They're traitors. Whoa, whoa, no, no, no. Whoa, don't, don't, uh, don't, uh, no true Scotsman, me, my friend. They're Christians, and there are far more of them than there are you. So I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't go go mm, canceling them too hard. About I don't know about that. Well, yeah, definitely the big issue with the Protestants. They're probably also and, better Christians well, than you guys are on average. Um, I've I've read a little bit of the Bible. My, I'm not religious. My grandparents are religious. I've gone to church when I visit my grandparents during the summer back when I was a kid. Read a bit of the Bible. You know, I was trying to be a good sport. And uh, I've read yeah. some of the stuff that Jesus has done. And damn, you know, I'm really just not feeling it. Jesus just kind of seemed like a pro-immigrant, pro-refugee, pro-sex worker. Oh, I've already gone through that with like, heaps of all these liberals that... Just completely, um, just they just tear scripture up like they they would just like they just make a mess of it. G Jesus in the gospel recognized the right of nations. It, it's all written in the um the catechism his, as well. His, his position up, on immigrants is pretty fucking clear, my dude. I'm just just point that it, you can. Hey, hey, no, no, I get it, I get it. It's just Jesus. And he's a socialist as well. Let me guess. Jesus Christ was no, a socialist. No, no, there were no we'll socialists be. back then. I'm not stupid enough to make that claim. He was pro-immigrant, okay, though. Fair. That is true. Um, now it's okay if you want to de deny your Lord Father, you know, his particular opinion on that group, <laughs> considering that he himself was a persecuted minority who lived under the thumb of an oppressive state and was then later, you know, and executed. What was that oppressive state? What was that oppressive state? The the Romans. I don't oh, know if state Romans, would be the right yeah. term. It was a Roman. Yeah. What okay, is that? Well, we won't even get into that. Wait, wait, wait. What does that have to do with anything? I'm just saying, obviously, you don't want to... Obviously, you believe all the lies about Romans killed Jesus. That, what the, wait, wait, wait. What the fuck are you talking about? Is this some, like, the Jews killed Jesus, but Jesus wasn't a Jew? Yeah, there was no outside influence. There was no, um, you know... Why do you, wait, why we, do you keep, why do you keep making facetious non-talking points? If you have a claim to make, quit being a pussy and make it. 
the it, Romans were the ones uh, who killed Jesus. I don't know what sort of weird ahistorical yes, conspiracism you've engaged in. It wasn't, but the reason why Jesus was killed was because, because of the Judas? Jews. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Well, oh wait, that's and, what and you're blowing me the fuck out on? The story of Judas betraying Jesus? Holy shit, I didn't know that one. Well, thank you for yes, my fucking but, Bible study lesson. But what did Jesus Christ went against the Jewish state? There wait, what, wait, what influence. Jewish state? The Romans were a Jewish state? No, his time in Israel, because... Are you what what time what um what the what fuck time you, are you wait why are you here? why are you even arguing this? I just pointed out that he died in an oppressive state and you thought like you would get me with a getcha because actually Judas was Yeah, I know, I get it. The bag of silver. Yes, okay, okay, no, so you're not denying it, okay. Technically wait, who the fuck Nobody denies it. Wait, it, did uh, the Groypers think that's like a gotcha? Heh, <laughs> when someone mentions that Jesus died, point out Judas betrayed them like it, Oh, damn. I mean, now yeah, I know, no, I guess. They also deny, like, the outside influence of, of Nobody Jesus denies well. that Judas led to Jesus' death. And it wasn't Israel, it was Jerusalem. Yeah, okay, yeah, some- no, dude. Go I've back to fucking Bible things. study, my dude. Holy shit. Anyway- No, I've heard different stories about- Okay, anyway, well, I've, I've, I've read I'll the Bible, so that's where my knowledge comes from. Why should I care about immigrants coming into America? Um, so, so, so I just, uh, just go back to the cultural. So, you don't believe that, um, importing, um, millions of people from a certain, from certain different groups, um, with no pauses, no regulation. What groups? Be, be specific. It's always with these vagaries, like, you don't believe bringing the whole third world in won't destroy a country. Give me, give me specifics. What's happening? What are we talking about? Well, Muslims, other people in the third world, people who, um, you know, aren't compatible with Western culture. What is this? What, who? What, what do you mean isn't compatible with Western culture? I'm not compatible with Western culture. Most of the people in this country are fucking idiots. Also, I was born in a city. Mm. I have more in common with a Muslim, an Iranian born in a city, than I would with a, with an American born in like a rural whoa, Alabama whoa, and Hutch. Whoa, whoa. Dude, you have nothing in common with Muslims, dude. That would you have, have wait, 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 you should probably dude. go on the spiel to someone who hasn't like traveled and has a ton of multicultural friends. Trust me, I know Iranians. Well, okay, well, when you say like you have, no, sorry, dude, this is really because when you say you have Alabamans are nothing like me, like at all. They're like they're, they're not even uh, like, yeah. with different species. Believe me, uh, believe me, I know that. Believe me. Yeah, wait. So that when... wait, that's in America. Why the fuck should? Why should my glorious fucking metropolitan American culture be subjugated to the to the to the degeneracy of Alabamans and Mississippians? Why the fuck should I allow them in here? And with that point being taken, why can't I let if they're allowed in here? Why the fuck can't I let other groups of people in here that I have cultural differences with? Because because Alabama, I'm pretty sure you're talking about native. The Native American populace. When you when you're talking about Alabamans as well, you're talking about people that are um, compatible with Western culture. Wait, 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 wait. What are we talking about? Native Americans? I'm talking about like, like no. Rednecks. When I say Native, I mean, I mean. Um, you know you what know, Native, Native American means. Use the proper terminology. Yes. Of okay. Sorry. Native Americans. Yes. Yeah, technically, the American. But when I said Native, I mean the people who are. The, the demographic that was there on the founding of America, you know, the European um, settlers and the African slaves and, and whatnot. That's what I meant by that. Right. So why but, should I care that the, why should I if their culture is so different to mine? Why should I care um, at all that they have like a similar ethnic background to me? I don't care about ethnicity. I care about people, people, ideas, culture. OK, but people are coming in with ideas that you would agree with that are anti-Western. Yeah, like you. that are not compatible. So should how, I be able to deport I, Nazis? How am I anti-Western? Wait, wait, you, rea you realize that Nazism and fascism and, and, and paleoconservatism or whatever are rejections of liberalism and liberalism is the predominant yeah. philosophical like uh, theory that America was based on, right? You guys are literally like anti-Western culture. Um, the, you have to be very specific. Like with, with someone like Nick, I would, I would say that, but when you're talking about paleoconservatism, you're talking about um, um, conservative policies within that are constitutional and that work within the government. Nazis, on the other hand, would would cannot work in work within a government within the government of America because 
because um you know stuff like ethnic genocide. Wait, whoa, no, 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 no. Wait, there have been neo Nazis that have worked in our government. Stephen Mill was Stephen Miller literally worked in our government. Like, as a Nazi, or a Nazi-adjacent person, I guess, if you want to really split hairs, there have been Nazis that have been outed in local government, like, all the time. In fact, there was a huge, like, um, um, like controversy yeah. in many, like, uh, like the southern states, the former, like, uh, confederacy, with Nazis taking up positions of political power following the, uh, the end of the Jim Crow laws, because people were looking for any political group that would keep those damn Negroes out. Yeah, of course, Nazis those are, are like, to work within third government. parties, those are, like, third party, like, stuff like that. I'm not talking about that. I'm, I don't know much about that Stephen Miller. I've heard about him a lot. Um, but he's, what he's, I'm saying is... He's very is, cringe and not based. Why should I care about immigrants? Um, no, no, no. Hold on. Let's just... No, let's just rewind a little bit because... Why should I care? Point, I just I just want my people in my country to be happy. Why can't immigrants come in? Sometimes immigrants no, have ideas oh. I disagree with. Sometimes they have agrees, ideas I agree with. I'll make the arguments I can and, you know... If, if no, they... because you you kept you kept saying paleo conservatism cannot work within uh, the the um the classical liberal government of you know Western countries when okay so you it, do, so you believe can. in universal suffrage democracy and egalitarianism no well, okay yeah I didn't well, no. I didn't think so so stop please don't make me bust out my fucking um, political theory chops okay no well, you are you are a rejection of liberalism saying... you're a rejection of America um why should I let you into the country. No, no, I'm not rejecting America, dude. Yeah, you are. It's... Wait, wait, the, the Constitution was founded on the principles of liberalism, the idea of universal suffrage, democracy, egalitarianism, let all men be um, be created equal. These are the founding yes, principles of Yes, but it wasn't pure country. democracy, dude. It, it, it was a republic. It wasn't I, wait, 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 wait. The last but... caller to this, too. Republics can be pure democracies, and democracies can be republics. They're not mutually exclusive. Yes, of course. You're rejecting but then democracy on a technicality? Okay, but it's it's not like we have the you, um, the electoral college and and stuff like that. What not? It's not pure democracy, what, dude. Well, this has nothing to do with the fact that you believe in a rejection of liberal principles. No, I'm not rejecting it, dude. If you would allow me to explain before, I wanted to go back to it because because we're stuck on this point now. I'm saying paleo conservative policies can work constitutionally within the American government. It. it it, we can we can work within it. That's what Nick says all the time. He says we can push policies that that work within the liberal government of America. The yeah, classically no, no shit because he doesn't want the America. FBI to shoot him in the back of the head. That doesn't mean you guys oh, wouldn't okay. have. Oh, but he's hiding his power levels. Yeah, and that's a different that's a different conversation. But I'm no, saying he's it's not hiding not his power levels. I say the same thing. I openly advocate for a violent revolution um, when we have the I know sufficient. You do. Right, right, right. But I also say we can work within government until that point. These are not, like, mutually exclusive. Okay, you can work but Nick will never get to the point where there's a violent revolutionary takeover of the, of the White House and, and the government, dude. It, it, if we get the policies that we can push, then it's fine. But if we can't get those policies, we're just going to, I don't know, go what, back and What does this have video to do games, with why we're not I gonna... care about immigrants being in the country? No, but dude, let, let's just make a couple of things clear, because because what I'm saying, I'm I'm trying to make the point that paleo conservatism can work within Western countries. Wait, 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 wait! I never said it can't. It's possible to be a paleo conservative and to get into government, okay, and to work within the yes. the, the faciles of, of of legislative, you know, like uh, yes. the government operation. I never said anything to the contrary. But Nazis only that you are a rejection. Law. No, Nazis work within the government too. I don't. You're desperate to establish a distinction without a difference. No, but Nazis can't. They would have to repeal the First Amendment. No, the Nazis second Amendment. have worked in the American government, and they do it okay, because the alternative is getting shot by the FBI. And paleo conservatives too will work in the government until it becomes a time where it is more politically expedient to not do so. I do the same thing. We're all radicals here, but that is completely I'm immaterial radical, to the broader point I was making that. Paleoconservatism, neo Nazism, whatever you want to talk about, is antithetical to liberalism and foundational American principles. I don't care yeah, about Yeah, but that. there's different levels, dude. It's not just black and white, there's different levels. You can't say, you can't compare paleoconservative 
policies to Nazism. That's that's why all these neo Nazis call people like me cucks and all that. They're like, oh, dude, you want to work within the government? We just we just want to see Washington burn and, and build it up from the. Uh, from, yeah, that's from the difference the between those of you who are stupid enough to believe in Nazism and those of you who are so stupid that you believe in Nazism but also don't understand how to make it function. The only it's sane Nazism position anything. for a neo Nazi is to hide your power level and work within the government or work within local uh, politics. I'm not I'm okay, this is this is so either. fucking boring. This is the most non-differential distinction I've ever heard in my life. Why should I care about immigrants in my country? I assume you assume Fuck. that I'm anti-white or something. I, I mean, I like white people as much as I like any other group of people, I think. Um, okay, but of... the anti-white agenda is very common. I don't know if you want to get into that. I want to get into why I should care about immigrants in my country. Now, mind you, mind you, I don't believe in indiscriminate open borders because I believe immigration should be limited as a logistical factor. We can't literally just let 100 million people in in one year. We, I mean, we, we, we just can't. We don't have the infrastructure to support. Why not? Because we Why don't not? have the physical infrastructure to support that population. Oh, uh, okay. okay. Except we do for 1.1 million a year and have been doing so for quite a while. So and that's not a valid argument. A lot of people would disagree with you on that. A lot of people would disagree. No, wait, 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 if, no, wait, if wait, 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 wait. I'm very far left. I have yet to meet a single person who unironically believes America should just let in an infinite number of people, as many people as want to. Wait, go wait, hold on. But if you had your socialist and utopia, there would be no borders, right? Well, no. You need a globalist socialist utopia for there to be no borders. Any socialist country isolated against capitalist countries that had no borders would get fucking rocked like the next day. Um, so not a chance. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. So, so again, okay. why should I care about immigrants? Um, so, we'll, so you just want to go back to culture? Um, so we, so I don't, I don't know if we still agree on this. So, so you would see no distinction between um, someone who's moderate or even a radical Muslim coming in, and someone that lives in America who's maybe paleo conservative or. Or maybe in your words, a little backwards, you know, like those oh, backwards oh, people whoa, whoa, in don't, Southern don't America. Equate, don't equate yourself to the backwards types. You're far worse than any radical Muslim. Uh, because you actually have a chance at affecting... <laughs> because you Wait, actually have a chance... Because you actually have a chance of affecting U.S. culture. A radical Muslim is never going to enter... Hold on. A radical Muslim is never <laughs> going to Elon enter... Homer. Is never going to enter the Trump administration and then start enacting a radical Muslim agenda from within the presidential administration. You guys on the why other not? hand are capable of doing that. So that is why you are more effective. Okay, so we're more effective than Muslims, but I you're think wor you're we're, worse I too. But you're more effective. That's the main issue. It's you're, you're more capable so, of enacting your agenda. So Christianity and paleoconservatism. Why can't we just talk about wing? whether or not immigrants should, like, okay. why I should care? Why do we keep moving away from that point? You know there because are no you... points that you can make that will be even remotely convincing when challenged by me, right? And it's not because I'm more rhetorically oh, yes. efficacious, though I am indeed fairly competent at debate. It's because these arguments are fucking stupid. America has been influenced by cultural changes for centuries. China has been influenced by cultural changes for millennia. Every country that we today oh, LARP over being an ethnostate has itself subjected itself, or been subjected to, cultural and ethnic changes that you would have considered to be a genocide of the original population. And yet life goes no, on, I'll... people keep moving on. It, it, this isn't, this is completely false because uh, I'm, I'm sure you've heard of the Heart Cellar Act of 1965. Yeah. Before then, I know it's America a very common was... talking point. Yeah, I'm. I'm sure you can debate it with him. I'm. I'm sure he would love to have that debate with you because he, no, already, he already lost Destiny that with... debate with Destiny. Yeah. His discussion yeah. on this with Destiny was fucking embarrassing for Fuentes. He fell off every single yeah. argument. Dude, you, you know what was embarrassing you and Sargon, man? I, I couldn't watch that. That would. It was insufferable to listen to, but it was mostly violence getting... inflicted on the viewer. I'm not going to disagree with that. That was a pretty fucking yeah, insufferable you, discussion. Dude. Sargon stayed calm the whole time, making cohesive points. You just went full schizo mode. Oh no, he didn't make what? any cohesive points. What he did was stay calm because that's his method. Uh, he stays calm yeah, and he makes no points. He just waits for opponents to get angry because he's insufferably smug. It works with people you... at IQ ranges around yours. But um, in terms of actual points, I feel pretty comfortable about what I did. In terms of optics, I'm looking to uh, I'm looking to improve in the future, uh, so yeah, I can help I people like you understand. Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, fuck. I forgot. I forgot what I was just about. Why to should say. I care about immigrants? No, but what was I saying before that? Um, fuck. The Heart Cell Act. So, before 1965, you can see the the cultural changes and the cultural influence. 
were very centered around, you know, black Americans, white Americans, you know, European influence way Incorrect. before that. And then there were, there was no Middle Eastern influence. There was no like, um, there were huge waves know, of Chinese, German, Hispanic, Irish and Italian and Polish immigrants, each of which prompted of a course. massive wave of ethno nationalists arguing that America was intended for Anglo's only. Okay, no, I'm not saying. But before 1965, all that immigration was very hard. It was, it was, it was there was pauses, there was um, there was a strict regulation. There wasn't. It, we weren't talking about importing 1.1 million people a year. Why did what? What is this? What does this matter? Why should I care about immigrants? It matters, dude, because if you don't have pauses in immigration, if you don't have, um, you know, at least some years we, we look at the economy and we say, okay, we need to hold back. We look at culture and we say we need to hold back. That's what's been happening with America for years until 1965. Why? Should, why? why do I care? Why do you care? Because you... Why do I care? <laughs> yes! Why is this because... so hard for you to answer this? How is it harming me? How is it harming my country? It makes So empirically, the facts are on my side because immigration is economically viable. And I know most, of that, most, of, that money, most of that money right now goes to capitalists. So I'm not exactly super happy about that. But the overall wealth of the country in a better society could be redistributed to make you know things better what for do the you average mean? person. It all goes to the corporate... It either no, goes it to all go, you know, nope. It leads to a decrease in the prices of commodities for the average American. It does, on average, lead to an increase in wages for most Americans. The exception being low-skill workers, and those wage drops could be compensated for by the benefits that you would get from the lowered cost of broader I've commodity heard this purchases. Times, dude. All of this is all highly substantiated by loads of economic research. But dude, we're not even taught le le low-skill labor, definitely. But what about high-skill labor? High-skill labor benefits. What about no? What about these people that are coming in with high skilled visas? That have these visas, that have to get a job, otherwise they have to go back to their home country. Corporations know this. Silicon Valley knows this. That's why they push for it. And then you have people that are coming out of uni, that have been in America, that were born in America, coming out of universities, colleges. What is? What are? The, what are these? They're, what are these anecdotal be, uh, appeals have to do with why? No, should listen, care about immigrants? listen. No, because I'm giving you an example of of high skilled visas as well that are that are affecting the economy. That people they're coming out of colleges, their their jobs are being taken by people with work visas that have to get a job. These corporations know they have to get a job, otherwise they're going to get kicked out. They know these people are going to be, um, you know, they're going to work more. They're going to be less lenient. They're going to be less likely to ask for raises and and um. Yes, I, I'm aware of all this. I know you're very concerned with the economic well-being of the average non-white immigrant, okay? I am aware of these talking points. In spite of it, on average, it is a huge economic benefit to have immigrants in. And all the it's problems you're describing right now, American all the problems you're describing right now could also be addressed by dealing with capitalism. So it seems strange to me oh that I would God. default towards trying to address immigration, which would hurt the country on average and benefit a very small minority of people, or I could address capitalism, benefiting everyone in the country and not hurting our country economically. So you can, you're going to conflate capitalism with globalism? Um, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. You literally just said business owners are exploiting the knowledge that immigrants need to uh, get jobs to keep their work visas. What is obviously, that if not dude, capitalism? Dude, obviously you have to have a balance of everything, right? So so when you guys talk about socialism, you can say, oh, we're going to have this socialized here, but this, that. There's all there's all these variables Why should that I come care about immigrants coming into this country? Can I just explain the difference what? between... This is so important to you guys, and you can't even explain to me! This is I literally, like, your number one talking bro. point! Bro, you just cut me off when I was trying to explain it, dude. You, you every what? time I give you a chance to speak, you start talking about something else. Economically, the case no. is made for the side of globalism and immigration. It's not, so culturally, dude. culturally, why should I care? Why are you trying? Why are you trying to control this conversation? Because so if much, I dude? don't, when you I guys just get... ramble because you know your arguments are weak. So you'll run off into the sunset, dragging the chain no, of logic around with you. I just got close. I got really close there, dude. But you just had to destroy it. Like you just had to. <laughs> don't threaten dude. me with another fucking dialogue train, please. Why? Oh. Listen, if you can find for me a broad meta-analysis of economic impact of immigration that indicates immigration is harmful to, to domestic workers, even that wouldn't be yeah. enough to convince me because I still care about the, the immigrant workers. But I, I would be very you, interested dude. in seeing it. Huh? 
I can give it to you because there was um, uh, Nick did a um, video on D Live and he went through. I can't remember who the guy's name was, but he was a he was um, an economist and um, obviously he was pushed out of the uh, the scientific community. Well, you know the whole. Um, oh, you. Oh, I know this one. This is uh, where a scientist makes a really dumb point and then defends their fucking career off of like a. Uh, off of proving it true, and it's not true, and they get excised from the community because they're just using their academic label as an excuse to push racism. Ah, uh, yeah, that, that's what it must be. Well, what, well, what is it? Because I've heard this before. This happened with the dude who invented, like, the double helix uh, DNA thing, who made some incredibly stupid statements when it came to, um... Yeah, uh, and he uh, just has his life destroyed, and... Oh, uh, no, and, no, no. Um, oh, cry harder, dude. I had a guy on, like, three days ago yeah, about this. This guy had a huge responsibility placed on him. I'm sorry, I care about truth? That guy was a scientist, and it was his job to represent the organizations that had propped him up. Doesn't matter, dude. He made it. I know, and then he lied and staked his career on it, and they destroyed him for it, like he should have. I'm sorry. I care about personal responsibility. I don't know if you're a liberal That's or just something. Like, you guys don't understand. This is where the the whole. I don't know if there's um. Uh, there's a gap between morality here. I don't understand how you can destroy someone's life for having the opinion that you disagree. Destroying with. someone's life. You mean you mean revoking their awards and firing them. I'm sorry, again, I believe in personal responsibility. Maybe you believe in living in a hug, bo hug box where no matter how much responsibility you have, any misbehavior isn't really, like, dealt with, like, administratively. God, God dude, Vosh, let me dude, just you're tell you right quick, now. No, dude, cry harder, okay? I don't give no, a fuck. No, no, I don't give a fuck if quick. somebody does an incredibly stupid thing very publicly and makes the organizations okay, that represent him look bad, and then those orgs drop him. That's incredibly bad, fucking bad. easy to believe. You believe, conspiratorially, that it's because they couldn't handle the truth. But in reality, most of these disgraced I scientists- know, I do, Most I do, of these disgraced scientists are just nutters who get dropped because they're embarrassing the organizations that prop them up they're to begin with. They're embarrassing, oh my god. Yes, I know, because you, because you don't believe Pardon me for being perhaps a little editorial here, in the concept of truth. You don't believe that somebody of that level of responsibility should be held to any sort of standard when it comes to publishing material? Of course he should be held to standard. He should be scrutinized by other people. And what happens, him, what happens when it turns out- him, not firing what him. Ha oh, could, oh, cry harder, dude. You can't be fired for lying at your job and trying to spread misinformation cry, to millions of people. Cry harder, dude. You're this great socialist, but you will you, you, you hey, might I'm a, I'm a libertarian socialist. Don't misrepresent me, okay? Of... You have to be careful with your language. This is it. We've been talking for, what is it, nearly an hour? now you have not only <laughs> failed to give me any compelling reason why i shouldn't let immigrants in i have heard better arguments to that effect from people less intelligent than you that somebody Bro, is just... that you are capable of faltering this hard to give me a good argument is evidence that you should not take so seriously the information that you've been receiving from nick or 4chan or wherever it is else no. you get your positions i'll give you if i'll give you, you the final word if you want it. red pill my audience dude i would there were so many things I didn't get to finish. If if you would just let me finish, we could actually get somewhere, dude. Explain where Nick um on one of his D live streams he went over this economist that explained um the impact of low skilled and high skilled labor coming in. It's not just low skilled anymore. It's high skilled labor coming in as well, affecting native workers. And when I say native workers, I don't mean Native Americans. I mean the people that were born in America. What's that the name were of the research there. or the name of the study? I have to. I can't find the video right now. Maybe some people in your chat can find it. Why was he disgraced for those findings? I don't know. No, it's it's underground stuff. Like because stuff is a peer review. Anytime you search up on Google effects of immigration, this guy will never come up, dude. He will be on like the the hundred and sixty seventh page. Why? Is what I meant by that. I don't I don't know anything really about this guy and and, and his life, but that's what I meant by that. Okay, so he's just not well known. Is it a peer-reviewed study published in a reputable journal? Yeah, I think it was peer-reviewed, peer and um, I think Nick, he, he showed the, uh, the URL to the study, I think, in the video, but... Well, it's okay, I don't expect you to have the study on hand right now. I, I mean, it's not as though I have, like, right now, a, you know, like, huge... Yeah, I, I could... I could post it in your Discord and maybe you can um, talk about it in another video, maybe, but... Didn't you say he was disgraced, though? Or did I mishear you? Why did we go off on that tangent no, about the guy I who said... discovered the double helix? No, no, you, you conflated with that when I said, like, he was pushed out of the way of the scientific community and then you said, oh, like the DNA guy. Yeah, because that implies yeah, a I conspiracy. Did... If he's just not that popular, that's not no, him being pushed I didn't... out. 
Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean it. I'm saying what my point was there is like when you search up effects of immigration, you'll never find this guy's study at the top of the page on Google for obvious be reasons. Be careful with your language. Um, the um, Yeah, so my main issue here is like yeah, sorry. the studies that I've seen are like massive meta-analyses done by huge organizations that um that that like conclusively determine results in this case um of i would course, be but... extraordinarily surprised i would i would actually be i would probably delete my channel i'm not joking I, the, you can all hold me to this if it was found <laughs> that immigration hurt the american economy that would be that would be like an extraordinary dude stop stop right there stop right there this is where the disconnect comes from we're not talking about the american economy did you even listen to what sargon was debate with I really, I, encur I encourage you strongly not to take economic points um, from, uh, oh, from, from Sargon of Akkad. Yeah. Yeah, so what like Sargon of Akkad had <laughs> against the multiplicity of evidence indicating that, um, um, that uh, immigration substantially benefits the economy and doesn't impact the wages of the vast majority of workers was a single study pointing out that a 10% increase of immigrant participation in low-skilled retail work could lead to a change of up to negative 2% in the wages of the native holders of that field. Such an unbelievably inconsequential piece of information that he phrased as, when immigration increases, native workers' wages goes down. He was lying, of course, and anyone who phrases the results of that study as that would also be lying. Um, in reality, um, immigration helps most people. More people in this country means more people to buy products, which means more people to sell products, which means more business opportunities for those who are looking to get into that, more managerial opportunities to oversee those businesses, more jobs for people who are looking into getting jobs, whether they be low skill or high skill, and a wide variety of other broad economic factors, up to and including a decrease in the broader cost of commodities. This economics is such an unbelievably complicated tapestry of information, and economists are all very willing to discuss the nuances, but you guys never ever are you weird fucking anti-immigrant populists are super super incensed with focusing it's hyper fixating weird, on a dude. tiny segment of a broader equation and then extrapolating i don't that. think it's a tiny set i wasn't very familiar with yeah but i have to go and watch it again but i uh, what i just said before it's not just low skilled we're talking about high skilled as well we're talking about work visas the idea uh, that it's... high skilled labor would suffer from immigrants coming in is astonishing to me, but I'd be interested in seeing that. We're study. not talking about the GDP. We're not talking about the economy. Well, the the GDP We're and the economy American getting better workers. does make things better for most people. For the workers, yes, uh, it does actually. But the, but dude, that that's just you're blurring the lines. You you realize it's... I'm a socialist, right? For me to acknowledge that an increase in the GDP does increase the general um, level of economic prosperity for the average person, this is like me taking a hit right here. Because most socialists like to pretend that the GDP is an imaginary number that has nothing to do with the lives of the average person. But that's not true. Commodity prices and the availability of work heavy are, are, are heavily dependent on, um, on GDP growth, for example. As are, okay, say, for but... example, wage increases in specific industries. So, when I'm okay. conceding this point i'm not like hoity toitying to my like ideological orthodoxy here i'm pretty specifically like like regarding the the economic reality we live with okay but again i would say i think sagan just makes a great point on what what do we what can we do to just i think i think it's more beneficial right now in the short term Rather than looking at the long term, now I think it's beneficial in the short term just to get, make sure these people have these jobs, first of all, and then we can look at immigration and say, where is, where is the economy at? Why? Do wait, we need why? more labor? The, wait, wait, wait. I don't think we should just bring people in if we need to. Ah, oh, no, no, no. We've, we've, we've gone down this rabbit hole enough. All right. Uh, I'm not. I wasn't. I love you. I love you. You know I love you, right? Because I'm okay. You know with, I'm, okay, me, dude. I'm you, okay with the global you homo violence degeneracy. against people like me, dude. No, oh. no, stop, stop. Oh, no, wait, absolutely. Wait, are you kidding me? Yeah, absolutely. You guys are Nazis. I'm not a fucking Nazi. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I, for not respecting your identity. But yeah, yeah, well, 100%, 100%, yeah. Um, but, for, but here's the good news. You could just stop being that if you really wanted to. Your gender, your ethnicity, your race, um, even your culture, these things are, are, are not only inconsequential to me, they are beautiful to me. Um, I don't know how you look personally. I'm not saying necessarily you're beautiful. Maybe you are. I don't know. Um, but, um, you know, you take in the eye of the beholder, you know what I'm saying? Um, I have nothing against you personally. The ideology you tout 
brings about destruction and misery, you know? And there are some people online who've done an excellent job convincing you and others otherwise, and I fault them for this more than any other group of people. But until then, uh, I guess we are we are bound only to disagree, and I hope that some time in between now in the glorious revolution, when I'm 82 years old and you're God knows how old, probably similar age to me, oh when we God. when we see each other across the field, we recognize each other's voices, and instead of taking the shot, we run at each other and we we we, we just go in for a big fucking hug, you know? Why can't we just do that now? Uh, well, because you're a Nazi. Oh my God, dude! First of all, I already said I don't believe race really. Um, on a race, realism, and IQ. You, do you want, an, you, want to... an, you want an ethno state and you believe in the JQ? I know, dude. Are you fucking insane? When did I ever... You can replay this whole thing. I just said Nick and myself are not for an ethno state. Okay, the fact that you're saying Nick and you aren't for an ethno state means you are in favor of an ethno state. You've just heard <laughs> arguments that have allowed you to make it sound like you don't believe in an ethno state. So really quickly, so just to super clarify, are you okay with America becoming any percentage white? Any percentage white whatsoever? Um, that through the process of immigration and miscegenation, uh, whiteness as a sort of pure racial construct is bred out and people of any race or ethnicity are made the majority, the plurality of this great country. Is that something okay. you're totally fine with? Because if so, yeah, I'll take me... away. No, let me explain, yeah. Because wait, wait, it's, it's yes, no, it's yes, no. I'll yeah, take I'll away explain, my point. No, no, because I don't like to talk about white people as a race. I'll just, I just like to talk about it as a group of people. And I advocate for black people. This hurts black people even more than white people, actually. The, 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 the mass immigration of the third world. Okay. I, is it, is I, it I, yes I like or, to talk it about yes it as, no? as the demographic of people. I don't want to see the Native Americans, meaning, you know, uh, yes, European yes, yes. The domestic, and, yeah, the domestic population of the United States. From and African-American slaves. And the, the European settlers, I don't want to see that group of people, that culture, that group. Okay, so that again, that are race. you or are you not? Because framing ethno-nationalism is actually, I just want Disneyland where all the ethnicities and their cultures stay separate so they aren't all mixed together into an ugly brown. I don't want them to be separate. It's I still just don't want that to go away. Okay, so, so yes or no to the question I asked. Are you okay with America being made a country of any ethnic group whatsoever not through violence but through immigration miscegenation other you know uh, other no, base I, I i want america to to have um to have a group of people that is dominant a dominant group? culture dominant group of people which are the native americans wait wait what what is Europe what what race is native americans the the european settlers of european america, wait of what color uh, what color to their skin it's not about colors. So dude. you want, yeah. So you want white people to think? Okay, come on, dude. All right, this is the fucking, the fucking. It's dog, more complicated The, the than dog that, whistle dude. maelstrom. Every time I have to talk to you people, dude. It's not about. I'm race, not a white. Dude. I'm not a white national. I'm not a white nationalist. Actually, I just believe in oh preserving God, the culture dude. of the native group of the. All right, hey, listen. I love you, buddy. Thank you so much for spending. Time you don't love me, me, dude. You don't love me, dude. I love so, you. So, wait, wait, hold on. Wait, 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 this is the last question, and I'm giving okay, it a okay. short answer. Okay, I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. One more question, and I'll go. So, so by, so what you've just heard of me just then, my opinions on the uh, immigration, the, the culture of America, the ethnicity of America, do you think violence can be justified against someone like me? Uh, yeah, totally. You're a white nationalist. I mean, that's objective. <laughs> without the broad <laughs> oh Nazi yeah, All yeah right, so don't say you love me, dude. That, no, no, I no, no, I do because unlike you, I don't believe in like cultural essentialism. I don't think that you are your ideology. If I had to guess, and this will be the last thing I say, and I'm genuinely not trying to insult here. I I know that often is said right before an insult, but I really do mean it here. You're probably like a white dude who is frustrated with your life in some way. There's some aching existential <laughs> dread about the nature of your life, and I know because I felt it too. And that feeling usually leads a person towards radical politics. And you have been convinced that a certain group of people are responsible for the problems and that a certain prescriptive set of policies will fix them. And I have a separate set of positions that I believe would fix the problem. But that same aching emptiness beats within us. And that is why I believe your mind can be changed. I don't know if I can do it. Maybe, I don't know, fucking, maybe it just would be really good pussy you, like gets you over on this. But I believe it is possible yeah, that you can wake up one day and realize, holy shit, I'm a fucking Nazi, and it's not good. <laughs> Dude, you are so... Uh
I love you. I love Completely you. Completely, hundred percent disagree, man. All right, um, I know that's okay. I love you. We disagree. By the way, there's some other guys in the chat. Are you, are you gonna? Because I've been, I feel bad because I've been in here for a long time. No, I think I've yeah. gotten. You know, you take one sip and you've gotten the whole kind of flavor. All right, I love you. <laughs> Farewell. Um, okay. Well, shit. Oh God. Oh fuck me, dude. This is every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, here, let's get rid of the. Whatever the case may be. Terribly sorry. Whatever the case may be. To you, Nazi folks in YouTube chat, I know there are still a few of you. Okay, listen for a second, okay? I, I don't know what you think about me. Uh, gay, Nazi, pedo. Or not Nazi, that's a compliment to you guys. Uh, pedophile, whatever. Um, I, I really do care about you, uh, and I mean that. I, I've talked about incels a lot. Incels are another group of people who I criticize often, um, but uh, but but I do love them. I think that they're a product sort of a, a failed society. You know, they've been let down. You guys are like uh, the Joker. You know, the society. This is what you get. This is what you get when you live in a society that treats you like trash. That's you guys. That's what you guys are like. You know. And I, and I sympathize with you so hard. I really genuinely do. In the same way I do with, um, with, um, uh, with, with incels, you know? And you're a lot like incels. And I imagine a lot of you are incels because most Nazis tend to be sexually frustrated young white men. Um, you know, <laughs> probably a lot of overlap there, you know, point that out. But um, maybe, maybe you should consider, and I'm really, really encouraging this. You should consider the fact that you're all really dumb um, you, you should just, like, when you, not, like, genetically or whatever, but when it comes to, like, the arguments that you make, I just, you should reflect on that. Because every time I argue with you guys, every single time I argue with you guys, it is the same maelstrom of dog whistles and inept attempt, attempts at defending the same few talking points. You don't have good ideas. They won't make your lives better. I am not some random antagonist who secretly despises white people. I am same as you, just a schlubby fucking dude trying to make my way through life. I lucked out with the streaming stuff, you know, but I might not have in another world. And then I would be a little bit less successful. And by a little bit less successful, I mean a lot less successful because I have been enormously successful here at this, at this streaming thing. And, um... And I'm very fortunate. But I don't think that fortune should define a good life. I don't think fortune should be the only thing that allows you to live a good life. And you think maybe your life has been made worse by, I don't fucking know, immigrants, feminism, Islam. What, what, what do you think? What, what do you think made your life worse? It's not those. I promise you, it's not those. There are some broader sociological issues that we can discuss when it comes to Islam and, and feminism. The idea that your life's been made worse by Islam if you live in America is pretty ludicrous. But uh, for feminism, maybe you could argue like the archetypical male identity has been destroyed. And there are arguments to that. I've addressed those arguments. I talk about them because I'm interested, because I care, because I want to help people. And I want people to help me because I benefit from being able to talk about these things with my comrades in chat, with people who disagree with me. It gives me perspective, it gives me closure, it gives me an idea of what I'm up against, you know? I care about your problems, but your problems aren't the problems you think they are. Fuck, I keep forgetting to fucking rest at the bonfire. The problems you think are ruining your life are not the problems that are ruining your life. Your life is being ruined by things like capitalist alienation, atomization, you know, the um, the, the deconstruction of, of like um, interpersonal values, um, uh, work being made more scarce, time being made more scarce, you, uh, the, the commodification of culture, um, the fact that it's getting harder and harder to make friends, the fact that it's getting harder and harder to make romantic partners, capitalism, and in to, for some of you, reactionary politics. Hey, if you suffer because of you're a man, which many men do, do you know why that is? Because many of the issues that men suffer from are blowback 
from patriarchal values. Why do you think men are biased against in family courts? Oh, maybe it has something to do with it's expected that women are better at caretaking children. Why do you think men are sometimes accused of being pedophiles when they go out to the park with their kid? Maybe it's because it's expected that women are better caretakers. Why is it that when, um, when a woman beats a man up in the comfort of their own home and the police show up, the police take the man away rather than the woman? Well, that's probably because it's generally expected that men are more capable of violence and damaging other people than, than, uh, than women are. We can fix these problems. They can be fixed, they can be isolated and identified. You don't have to agree with me on every single issue. Maybe you can still believe Jews are out there to get you or something. But holy shit, guys. Every time I talk with you, it's the same fucking 20 IQ conversations. Even if the people I'm talking to are intelligent. It's not, it's not their IQ itself. It's not their brain that's 20 IQ. It's their fucking ideology. What about Nazis who also focus on the socialism part of the ideology? What should I say to them when they also bring up points against capitalism? Oh, because they have the same set of, like, fucking brainworms when it comes to immigration. Guys, immigrants aren't making your life any worse. <laughs> Fuck off. They're just not. Most of the people who bitch about immigration live in tiny old towns that are never affected by the, uh, by, by the increase of, like, uh, ethnic, um, you know, um, um, heterogeneity anyway. And if these people actually gave a fuck about the economic impacts of immigration, they wouldn't be making racialized points about them. They would be talking about how immigration needs to be curtailed to a slower amount for protectionist economic policy, like, you know, stuff that Bernie Sanders believes in, and wouldn't be talking about making this a white ethno state. They kind of give the game away a little bit. You know, like, oh, well, we recognize it's capitalism too. Oh, really? Then why the fuck are you being racially exclusionary? Just dumb. Just cringe, honestly. So yeah, if you're in YouTube chat and you're a Nazi, just fucking... Life will not be made better. Hey, you do realize, I don't know if you know this, maybe, um, life wasn't exactly great for people in Nazi Germany? Even before the war, you know. And during the war, after the uh, economy picked up, you know, from all the plundered gold and what have you. Um, it wasn't exactly like things were super great and easy for them. The paranoia... The, uh, the, the, you know, the, the, the state police, and I know you guys are authoritarians, the, um, the exclusionary, um, the exclusionary, like, uh, policies, uh, would often backfire against them, too. Do you have any idea, and you can go look this up if you want, do you have any idea how many non-Jewish Aryan, not, uh, like, German citizens, um, were accused of being Jews and died as such? Do you, do you have any idea, not only how much that happened, do you know how much of a fear that was omnipresent in the minds of those who lived in that society? I want you to think about that. It wasn't paradise for them. Yeah, they shot business owners if they raised prices to curtail um, inflation. And these people probably think that's a good thing, you know? They probably think like, ah, oh, yeah, those Jewish business owners um, raising prices, you know, ah, hurting the common man. You know what? Those business owners that raised prices were themselves struggling white families, who are uh, Aryan families, who are trying to uh, make a living to provide for their family. And do you know why they were shot? Because they were just trying to get a little bit more bread on the table. Germans, Aryans, whatever. It's not a good ideology. It's a loser ideology. So fuck off with that. Just stop.